Oh, hi, hi. What up, what up, what up? This is your girl, Candy. I am here with my ladies to talk about peacocks. Um, Apple, the apples, apple never falls. So I'm going to bring up my ladies to assist me with this. And we're going to do our little intro and we're going to get started. Uh oh. I have my girl, Aries. What's going oh, on, Aries? Hi, everybody. You? Thank you for tapping in with your friend and all of the ladies here on this wonderful Sunday. We are about to get into this crazy show. <laughs> and Tamika's Den. Hi, Tamika. Hey, y'all. What's going Thank on? Thank you for coming through. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Inga Binga in the building. Hi, Inga. Hey. Hello, hello. To me, with the blue, and I got the red. <laughs> Monique, sixty-nine ways Johnson. What's going on, girlfriend? Hey, Monique, glad to have hey. you here. Thank you. Okay. For me. <laughs> so, what are your thoughts about the show? We'll go with Aries, Tamika, Monique, then Inga. So, y'all, yes, just like um, Candy was saying just a minute ago backstage, I saw my speak, my sweet perspective, Ashley, posting about this show. And I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and tap into that. And when I start watching it, y'all, from the first episode, I was like pulled in. And then when I start really fighting my sleep to watch it, I was, I knew it was going to be good. I was trying to stay up. I was willing to go to work with like two hours of sleep to finish this all in one night, but you know, it's just one of them ones. So I loved it. And Tamika. Yeah, definitely was interesting. The Delaney family was working my damn nerves. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is going on here? So, yeah. <laughs> okay, Inga Binga. Uh, well, you the one who uh, <laughs> <laughs> recommended the show. And I was like, uh-uh, I ain't got time to start one of these other shows. Um, but I said, all right, I'm going to give it a chance. I saw the trailer, and I said, I man, it's like a murder mystery. Let me watch this. <laughs> And I just got caught up in I, I I went down the rabbit hole. I, I got caught up into it. And uh, I liked it. So mm -hmm. and Ms. Monique. Uh for me, um, after reading the synopsis, it really did catch my eye. But it was some moments in the um in those episodes I was like drifting off <laughs> doing some other stuff. <laughs> and then it started to pick back up. So okay. I it was agree. Pretty good. Yeah, it was very good. It was good. It was good. So I'm going to give everybody a shout out. Thank y'all for coming through because I don't want to forget to do this um, at the end. Annette, 313 Better Made. Miss Kendall, darling, thank you for coming through. Uh, da, 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 da. Inga Binga, you on this panel while I'm calling your name. Derry <laughs> B, uh, Torx, Stella, and Sanaya's mom. And I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. I want to do that before I get caught up in the show and, and forget. And I don't, I don't want to forget to call anybody's name. Mm -hmm. So, Candy, can I just to... say, too? I'm sorry. I forgot yes. to mention that this was a book. I'm sure the book probably have more details. And the author was saying, like, I guess it was during the shutdown and just binging a whole bunch of different crime stories. She kind of took it from different crime stories that she was watching and put it in together. That's what gave her the idea for the book. So I thought that was interesting. And I do agree, just reading the synopsis. And I also like the actress, I can't think of her name right now, that plays Joy Delaney. So that did pull me in and make me curious. Like, what's going uh, on Annette in Benny. Yeah, Annette Benny. Yeah, Annette Benny. I love her. Yes. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Let's see. I didn't like episode seven because... Oh, yeah. We're going to talk about that. So when we talk about it, I'm hoping that we can stay... Um, <laughs> episode yeah, episode the end pissed me off, but we I just don't there. want to do episode seven because that is really the the catalyst of the uh the series. Yeah, so we can yeah. just not talk about episode seven. Yeah, I ain't like how it is. Uh, <laughs> <I'm 75. laughs> <talk> about... <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let me put my pictures back up. So the episode starts out. Um, let me find my pictures, Lord. Okay. Uh, we see Miss uh, Joy Delaney. Uh-oh. 
some of my things got got mixed up. Uh, riding her bike, and then we see the apples on the ground. She went. Well, I'm sorry. She went to the market, got some apples. She's riding her bike, and then we see the bike. We see the apples all on the ground, and it was like, huh? What? What's going on? <laughs> so, um, you know, that's just how it starts out. So, and I do have some slides that are mixed up. So the wife and uh, what's her husband's name? Stan, they are, are discussing, you know, life. They're retired. They uh, started their retirement. They had a party. They had all of the children there. The children are pretty successful in their own right. Um, nobody's playing tennis anymore. The mom is a tennis was a tennis coach as the dad played tennis and then he became a coach after some years. Um, they are now retired. They do have a facility um, that they were like coaching the kids over, over the years. Um, anybody have any input on the start of the episode with the family and, you know, the dynamics and the conversation they were having at the uh, party? Uh-huh. Um. Yeah, when it first started, I was like, okay, this is one of those athletic families that basically I kind of grew up like this, y'all. My dad was very heavy in the track and field and just made us run because he just thought that we needed to be doing that. And it was like, okay, yeah, some of us wanted to, some of us was good at it, some of us was not, but no matter what, like we had to all be uh as a family, like doing this same type of grueling, I don't know, it, like, you know, like I, it, uh, for me, I wasn't one of the ones that liked it. I could run not as fast, <laughs> like I wasn't the fastest, I wasn't the slowest, but mm -hmm. it wasn't like my thing. And yeah, to have your parent just be pushing you to do something that they're into, it just was like, okay, this is one of them sports family. Everybody gotta be taking part, you know, participating. But yeah, it just seemed like, okay, Stan is going to be getting on my nerves. <laughs> Stan is kind of weird, you know, mm -hmm. but I guess he has he a has reason a certain to be. temperament. About yeah. Him. So there's yeah. that. I mean, this first episode is called The Delaney's. So the first episode is just a groundwork of giving the, uh, the vibe of the family dynamics, basically. And uh, yeah. as we go on, you notice that each, each character has an episode. <laughs> right. Right. Name as they should. As yeah. they should. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Well, it, it gave us a, a reason to know a backstory on every person. So we needed that. Yeah. The the episodes like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the parents are at home discussing, you know, life and things like that. And they get a knock or bamming, a bam, bam, bam on the door, like something was really, really wrong. And and I'm like, who knocking on the door at this time of night? And they get this strange chick here with this little scar on her head looking disheveled. You know, it didn't look real. However, that's what she gave to us. Okay. And I'm like, now what in the hell is going on? Why is she knocking on the people's door? You know, this time of night, what is what is going on? She finna set this man up to be with him. She finna do something to these people. I didn't know because it just didn't seem right to me. So we see uh, Stan looking like, okay, I'm not believing none of this crap that y'all got going on. Um, I don't know what she's talking about. She's talking sideways. How did y'all feel about the introduction of Savannah? Didn't like her from the beginning. <laughs> as soon as she came in, started running her little story. Did y'all see how her face was twitching? She was like, yeah. <laughs> then I jumped out the car and. I was like, Stan, get her up out of here. Get her up out of here. That's where I, like, initially I was off put by Stan, but when he seemed to be, like, the one that was going to be standing the ground, like, no, we're not letting no strangers stay the night up in here. Uh, like, okay, you didn't dab their head off. Now, now, where are you going for the night? Like, he wanted to know, okay, and now what? <laughs> so, yeah. I was upset with Joy, but I felt like based on what we knew about Joy kids, them being empty nesters, that she was about to do more than she needed to be doing. 
Mm-hmm. I'll just I yeah, I definitely, I'm definitely. I'm sorry. I, I I definitely. I was a child. I went from her being Stan's long lost daughter to her having a family. <laughs> so she trying to go try to have a family. So maybe she was Joy's daughter that she gave up before she got. Okay, you was adding so much. Yeah, I was like, who is this girl? You had your pen and PayPal. You was adding more to the story. <laughs> So Mika was, was like, a writer, child. I know, right. you know, just from being in this accident and showing up. And I get that y'all, I guess, had this open door policy. You had a lot of the people you coached that stayed there. You had your kids' friends that stayed there, but you knew those people. Mm-hmm. I'm like, no, we need to call the cops. We need to get you help, and you need to get a long lady. Like, you're not staying right. the night. <laughs> Absolutely not. I thought it was going to be her daughter, too. I was like, this Joy daughter. No, I didn't think that. I, y'all went no, the other I, way. Yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all went far with it because I didn't right. think that. I, I figured it was something weird with her, but I didn't think the daughter part or long left. La- you know, it just wouldn't happen. To, I just don't believe that. I just think this, I hate to say it, they, I think it's white people's stuff. They, just, white people. they, do. Okay. they open up, you know, they're going. Yeah. You know, ring, uh, open up the door, just let somebody in their house. That's how they be getting, um, Taken out of here. Mm-hmm. You, mean, you, you know, are not I mean, making over my threshold, honey. No. Not, no. They, you know, don't look out. No peephole. They just open up the door. Don't say who <laughs> is it. What you want. And and just let the person in, start eating dinner, spend the night, the whole nine y'all. I just, I just don't see this happening to nobody yeah. of any other race. <laughs> yeah. I, I agree. I, I didn't trust her. Yeah, we not doing it. Mm-mm. I didn't trust her. Didn't I was trying to I'm trying to figure out if they live in a gated community. Like, how did she... Yeah, and that's another thing. They had bread. They had money. You can see how they was living. Big old yeah. tennis court in the backyard. They live. They had some money, so I agree with that. They must have... How she get through the gate? Yeah, that's how we knew it was something strange. <laughs> yeah. How did she get through the pearly gate? Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, they didn't even investigate the accident that she supposedly was in with her boyfriend. She said she hopped out the car. I mean, Stan, he didn't trust it from the beginning. No, he didn't Mm-mm. want her to stay there. He was like, it's nobody we can call for you. He was right. Like, no. like, we can call you an Uber or Lyft and get you home. I mean. I'm with Stan. Me too. Hey, we're not doing all this. <laughs> no, no. And then she going to throw up in his face with a Stan I once knew. Was always willing to help people, but this is a new day and age, sir. This is not twenty years ago when our kids was young and all the everybody was friendly. This I is a different time frame. Lonely. We not we not doing it. I guess she was that so, lonely. She <laughs> right. So we would um, ask more questions and did more investigation. You're not gonna just right. move in. And yeah, and definitely, make, because make even pay, with the connections the that they have and the status that they have, I would think that you would have did. A check on this person, like, nah, I don't know oh, you. I'm sorry, right. like, I'm sorry for At what all. you went through, but I do not know you. <laughs> right. I, don't know you I think the mother was so lonely, that's why yeah. she just gravitated to the girl. Yeah. Yeah. Because the girl started cooking and she started cleaning up, and it was mm-hmm. like the mom was going crazy over everything that she was doing because the kids never did it. But they right. were children at the time, like, this is mm-hmm. a grown woman you met in your house, of course, she gonna kiss your behind. And 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 cook and do all this other stuff because she ain't got nothing else to do. She over there playing a game, but I did not know what game she was playing. But she yeah. played it very well uh, to a point. Um, anything else about? Well, okay. So then we see that because I don't think I had the other pictures. We did see where she, um, the kids are starting to look for their mom. It was like, I'm like, hold a minute. I didn't realize it was like then and now. I didn't see those words on the screen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. But we see where they go back, well, go forward to where they're looking for their mother. Have you talked to mom? They're out to eat, they're eating lunch. Like, Have you talked to mom? I haven't talked to her a couple of days. She did call me, but I didn't answer. Things like that. Now, stuff like that does bother me because I know sometimes my mom called me and I don't even want to answer the phone. And, you know, I'll call her right back, though. But they didn't answer the phone at all. And now mom is missing and they don't know where she is. I would feel like bubble gum at the bottom of my shoe if that something like that was to ever happen how did y'all feel about them not answering the phone and then them trying to talk about you know how they were looking for her and you know dad is acting weird yeah that part was interesting i'm sorry Mm -hmm. no you go ahead tamika 
Um, no, I was saying that part was interesting. Just their reactions. Like one, uh, who was it? I think it was Brooke was saying, no, Amy was saying to Brooke, you always overdo it. You know, what you're going to do next? Put in a police report. And it's like, oh, you already put in one. And then we kind of already was saying, well, did you speak to dad? What did dad say? And we called dad and then we like, he sound like he lying. And it was like, mm -hmm. well, why would he be saying she went to the store and y'all saying she missing like, but nobody yeah, get that's answer. It was I would have been over there at that house already. Yeah. Like it wouldn't even went on that long. We ain't yeah. <laughs> like, I don't answer my mom right. every time she called either, but like you said, I I will call her back or text her. I'll be like, everything going okay and ain't nothing important. All right. Like <laughs> what are we sitting yeah. around talking yeah, about right yeah. now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. at least within 24 hours, I would have called my mother back, yeah. you know? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, they just seemed like it was not a big deal, you know? Yeah, they were so relaxed. Everything the dad told them, they took it. She went to she went shopping. She went to the mall. And then the friends come over. The, they told her what? She was sick or something? Yeah, like, cold. you made up all these lies and excuses. Yeah. And then you got this big old scar on I your right. head. I can understand you, you saying that to the neighbor and the nosy people asking questions. But not to number the one. kids. You're right. a suspect number one. Oh, is that somebody in the background? Hold on a minute. I'm sorry. I'm trying to. <laughs> Girl, she knows she got my phone number. She better learn how to call me. Uh -oh. Hey EJ. Hey hi. Hey. 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 Hello. I just wanted to hop on really, really quick. First and foremost, hey everybody. Inga Binga. Is that hey, me? Is that me? Girl, yeah, yes, listen, hey. me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> listen, that's how we get to put a face with it. It's so nice to formally meet you. I'm so sorry. I'm hijacking your live. Hey Aries. Hey Twitter. Hey. Hey y'all. Listen, I just wanted to get out here real quick and say how very proud I am of my girl Candy. She has been doing her thing. I'm so super proud of her. I didn't get to finish watching this, y'all. I've had a long weekend. We just finished my mother-in-law's birthday party, and now my son's birthday thing is about to start, and I have another live. So I didn't get to finish watching it, but I did watch some of it. It's, it's, it's going. I'm, I think I'm on episode four right now. So I'm liking the show so far. Otherwise, I would be right here with you ladies. Uh, but I just wanted to show my face because I haven't got a chance to get on one of your lives and you're always supporting me. So I wanted to make sure that I showed up for you. Oh, um, poo -poo, you're so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. Well, I will see right. you guys later. Love you all. All right. All right. All right. All right. Too. <laughs> That's my dog. That's my dog. That's my dog. <laughs> <laughs> So okay. Sweet. So sweet. Uh, see, mom happy. leaving was a loss for the com competitor in Stan. Admitting that particular loss was devastating to his ego. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, back to him telling those lies. I'm like, bro, why are you lying to everybody? In a everybody different lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah you like wasn't even lie. consistent really? with the lie. Yeah. You were telling everybody yeah. a different story. All, yeah. <laughs> like, it wasn't um, that it was serious, but it wasn't that serious for you to continuously tell a different lie to every person. That you saw, like she's contagious. She doesn't have her phone. She went to the mall, sir. She got to come back from the mall. What? She got to get well. She's not in the hospital. Like, come on. Something. And the, yeah, and the kids' response to their mom not answering her calls, it did not make sense. It was weird, mm -hmm. but when we get later down the line, it makes sense. No, it makes sense. It, it, yeah, it, it makes sense yeah. once they put everything together. Yeah. Together, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was so, weird. Is this okay? I think this is episode. Two maybe with Logan. With Logan, oh, yeah. Okay, so episode two is Logan. Um, is Logan's episode, so everything is pretty much centered around him, so to speak. So he's at the house, um, cleaning out the gutters for his parents, and he finally meets Savannah. Savannah knows more about him than he probably can tell you the numbers on his doggone watch. Savannah knows what he does or what's supposed to be doing for a living. She knows about his girlfriend or wife or whomever. Like, she knows too much. She talks too much. When I say Savannah should have been popped and got and gone, she was Joy talking about dang on much. That's every time I yeah. saw her. Right. You know, yeah, that's yeah. what I was about to say. Mama got a big mouth. She never should have. Because yeah. how the hell this girl know all, all your business. damn business? But she oh, had looking at her like, uh, lady, I don't even know you. How you know about my girlfriend and my job and this and that? Yeah. yeah. And then she was very conniving and deceitful when she would talk. You could tell mom had get, told her a little bit too much information too because much. she was, because I think he, he was not doing what 
she actually said he was doing. But, you know, she put 20 on 10 and she tried to make him feel bad for not being where the mom wanted them to be or whatever. Mm-hmm. I just didn't like, I mean, I guess it's part of her job. In the end, we realized that, but that, he, he's you know, supposed to take over the tennis academy at one point. Yeah. yeah. And now he all, now he all, all he does is boats and yoga. That's what they say. Yes. His <laughs> girlfriend so, name is Endera. Right. And she left or about to. So the father is still acting out. He's acting weird. We see where he, I think my pictures got mixed and, up. And Tamika, you know that's crazy Rachel from Hightown. That mm-hmm. detective. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. I'm <laughs> that's sorry. That's, that's the only that one crazy sad. Rachel. Um, yeah, I, and then, I mean, we already were suspicious of Savannah, but once Logan went into the police and he said, we never got to take a picture of her. She never mm-hmm. wanted us to know any of her background. Like, we couldn't find her on no social media. Yes. It was really like, I like seriously, none of y'all thought this was strange. You couldn't take her to go get her stuff. She always had an excuse about that. No that ID. Just, mm-hmm. Yeah. No ID, no nothing. Like, nah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Aries, this part right here, when they went to the, um, I guess, where the boats are housed, how did mm-hmm. you feel about this little part um, of seeing them and her not having ID and stuff like that? suspect that was like the 10th red flag to occur in only two episodes and i was just like man i I guess at this point i was just really trying to put my finger on what she was up to like what's her motive who is she for real and clearly for sure now she hiding her identity i was just like wow this couldn't have been nobody black savannah they would have been done let you go off to (laughs) you have been gone okay you would have been locked up probably you ain't even did nothing for real yet but yeah you just wouldn't have been still hanging with mr she, cooper she would she not have slept in my house one night because right. right. yeah, i don't chummy. know nothing about you no yeah she was too chummy too she was too chummy with the with the dad with stan and stan couldn't stand her ass and she was too <laughs> chummy with him you know you like, like girl go you away trying to compensate for not having or just for not being legit like mm-hmm. you can feel like she was doing the most to be nice to fit in, right? And the thing know. about it is, you literally could see her playing like each mm-hmm. member of the family because yeah. even though Stan was really against it for the most part, it was even to a point where he started softening in certain spaces. And then I think they was, I don't know if I'm skipping ahead, child, but I know there's a part when they're okay. on the boat and they're laughing and Joy's like, what are y'all laughing about? And she's like, it's a secret. I'm like, nah, ain't no damn secrets. Right, exactly. <laughs> not right. that because we're not finished. You're not just <laughs> in my face with my hood and tell me it's a secret mm-hmm. and you were strange. No, ma'am. But and see, Joy just turned right around to the, uh, the bow, bow of the deck or whatever and just like, <laughs> Enjoying the ride, like yeah, what? but that's joy looking goofy. goofy. <laughs> girl, no. <laughs> girl. no, um, so they're back at the house, and somebody want to explain what they see going, what was going on in this scene. Oh, oh when they back okay. at the house cooking, yeah. If um, I remember correctly, the only one that's still giving uh, her the side eyes, Logan, he's like, how the hell y'all in here all comfortable cooking? And I think this is when they bring up, like, the mom suggests that the two brothers can go with her to the hotel to get her stuff from her boyfriend. And she was right, still right, trying to make yeah. excuses. Yeah, right, right, right. And right, be like, yeah, oh, no, yeah. don't worry yeah. about it. <laughs> and this was all this was all fake. She ain't never yes, did it. Exactly. Just, yeah. the, the, the door with the hole in it. Oh, right. Goodness. But she didn't know the room number. They almost they got hole, taken out of here. Hole. Maybe she her. was already there. They was already at one point. That yeah. Was it was yeah. She probably had already been there at one point. So it was something familiar to her. And she knew that it would have a hole in the room number. Mm-hmm. So um but she really played them. There. She played yeah. them and pulled on their sympathy cards for real. Um, Monique, anything you want to say about this? They little trip and the conversation in the car. Child, I don't. <laughs> For these brothers who are come from a well-to-do family, they willing to go to the other side of the neighborhood to go see if her boyfriend there without any backup or mm-hmm. 
You don't know who yeah. you who were you banging on. That was really stupid of them. And right. like, so dumb. So dumb. <laughs> you don't go off the word of this stranger and you see what kind of neighborhood you in and you come from a well-to-do neighborhood. Like, are you crazy? Yeah. No, I'm getting an escort. Okay. Police can take you there. Yeah, the police. Yeah, the police squad. Yeah, <laughs> the police be there. Yeah. No, I can be. You probably set me yeah. up to get Jack. Are you okay? Right. Like, right. No. Exactly. Like they had no protection, no bat, no golf club, no tennis no, racket. Not. They had nothing with them. No weapon. Like, no. What we're not gonna do is go in here naked. We're not gonna go in here naked. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> and see, somebody should have said. Call the police and say, "Hey, this girl was abused by her boyfriend. We finna right. go to this hotel room three two three two two. You know, send out a, a a smoke signal or something." But no, no, not me. Yeah, they not smart. <laughs> no. Logan and Amy were paying attention. The other two were caught up in their own mess. Yes, yeah, I agree. Um, so do 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 do. The dog, Mary Harriet. I hope I got that picture. The dog name was Mary Harriet, y'all. Uh, that I'm found saying. the um <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sorry. Let's go back. I'm going too far. So these are the these are the friends. They peeped out the husband was a bit much and that he was going through something. They didn't know what he was going through because he was playing tennis and knocked the man and hit the man in the mouth. It's not this teeth out of his mouth. Yeah, that was so like, messed up. Sir, what is really going on with you? Like you knocked this man mm -hmm. teeth out his mouth. Oh. Well, he was, was the guy probably was a rival. He got sick of him, so I'm a I'm gonna smash your teeth with this tennis racket. Yeah, you yeah. yeah. got to tell me. You can yeah, tell. Yeah, he has a temper. He's like, all right, you running your mouth. I'm about to bust you in it. I'm gonna bust you. That's right. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. I ain't mad at that. But we too old for this though. A... Not we, but they. You knocked the man's teeth out of his mouth. Is entirely too old for this. Yeah, they yeah at this point, I guess they really just wanted to make you feel like, you know, Stan has a temper. We don't know mm -hmm. what happened to Mama. We see a new scratch right. on your face. We hear in Logan every so often reference, like, let's not act like he was a good guy. And we, you know, so it would be like these little references. And then you see him kind of spaz out here. So you kind of are thinking like, yeah, Stan, Stan can possibly spaz out and do something. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. I I'm agree, Miss Kara. How's your how's your white, your white missing? You playing tennis? Yeah, mm -hmm. and you right. Like, the same the exact game. thing. Mm -hmm. game. Like no, uh, uh. And the friends are sitting there looking like, what is really going on with this man? Everybody right. looking exactly. You know, you know everybody you was gossiping stories. about yeah, this. See, we didn't know the back. He was mad at his wife, but we didn't know right. the backstory. Yeah, yeah we, we didn't, didn't know, know at that time. point. So, mm -hmm. so that's so why the story was, that, so, you know? was so good. It was written so well, like all this back and forth, and you got us upset about something that we don't even know that's going on. When right. uh, you know, because it's it's telling like the backstory of everything and the lead up to mm -hmm. it, you know, because they have the then and the now, but I just couldn't keep up with all that then and now, and I was like, I hope somebody else can help me keep up with it, because I cannot. Um, then the dog, Mary Harriet, ended up finding the bloody shirt um, that was mm -hmm. buried in, that, that was buried in the backyard, and I think that, that was like really telling to me, I'm like, hold a minute now, what's going on? Why would we have a buried sweater in the in the backyard? Like, no. But see, uh -huh. that they they that's why they were good with the writing because it made us believe that maybe mm -hmm. her body or or, or or some or clothes, some evidence was buried in the backyard. Yeah, so something was really point, going that's on. That's why we, I was all into it because I said, "Oh man, he might have did kill his wife." Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this thing bloody too, boy. So, uh, is this episode three? Yes, this is episode three where we had this is uh, Amy's episode. Um, and they are doing the press conference, which I I guess it's that's what they needed to do. You know, Amy wanted to spearhead this thing at her house, and um, and she was weird. It, yeah, she was. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna say self absorbed. Um, no, she, she was, was just on, she was on another planet. She was on another planet somewhere. Yeah, I think she's right, she made hippies look bad. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah, she was definitely a hippie, but she was just so. Said she's gonna be a life coach. I'm like, 
Yeah. yeah, she was very um eccentric, was but at the same time, she the only one that seemed like she actually tell the damn truth about stuff. And she was yeah. the first one paying attention to mama's missing and something is damn wrong. The rest of y'all yeah, playing that's games. True. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know, so yeah. It, it was just yeah. bugged out yeah. how they really wasn't taking it serious and Stan just seemed like he was playing in their damn face up until the point am I skipping child because I don't remember the, the okay, order but right. <laughs> did they find they have found the cell phone by this part right because the cell phone was in the damn right laundry there. basket the the who was that the maid answered the like maid, I, the, I got yeah. the phone it, it, I was <laughs> like well what the hell going on then right. we found the bike, we found the shirt. It was like little pieces by pieces, but still no mom. I was just like, mm -hmm. but then they still telling Amy, is it Amy or Brooke? I don't Amy, right? They still telling her that she is bugging out and she's overdoing it and overhyping it. I was like, well, actually, she not at this point. Y'all should be worried and concerned. Like, what the hell happened to mama? And then it was interesting that Logan just seemed like he was the one going the hardest of dad could have possibly did something to her. Like, I don't know why y'all think that he couldn't have. We know the no, that was person. Troy. That's Troy. Troy? Okay. Troy. I agree, Derry. She's a hippie. Yeah, like, crazy. That's right. Yeah. That's Troy what I said. The they whole, got the on for the dead, even the though they kind of similar. The whole family different, you know. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was just Ooh. like, oh, and then they all was already looking at her funny, like as far as the neighbors and stuff. Once this came out, because it's like, wait, you told me she was sick. You told me she had a head cold. You told me right. she, was she had a lot going on, but then it was like nothing going on. But, but it was right. a whole lot, but it was nothing. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. So they get to the uh, the officers' go to the house. They take out the things. They're taking out a vacuum cleaner. They're taking out everything. They tear the people's house up looking for you know things that could be possible evidence or something like maybe foul play with the um with joy because mr delaney is shut mouth he's and he's acting strange that's what makes it worse he's he's acting strange mm -hmm. not telling the truth about things and it just seems like he did something mm -hmm. so brooke is the one that's more so on the dad side up until a certain point because she still has hope that Mom is still alive. Dad didn't do it, or either I don't know if she's a daughter, daddy's girl, but she's just still on his side. So <sighs> this boy here, Troy, yeah, Troy, but Troy, Troy, him. Troy oh is Brooke got on my last nerve, but we'll talk about her later. Troy is, uh, I, I'm sorry, I mean, I should have got a better picture than that, but. He is stuck on stupid on this woman. I didn't know who she was at first. I just thought she was his girlfriend. But he hunching his lady in the bathroom stall, and then they go back to work. Anybody want to say anything about Troy being hung up on this floozy? This the him. uh girlfriend that uh he was talking that, about. Yeah, I just but, figured he was having an office romance, and you know we yeah. sneaking around the office, and we really not supposed to be messing with each other because we work together. I didn't know how much deeper it went, of course, at this point. But then he seemed like he was struggling because at the same time he thinking about his mom and everything. But it was just weird. I was also, like, he okay. getting a divorce from. His yeah, he in the middle yeah, of the right. divorce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Claire. Yeah, and because she wanted the um eggs that they had frozen mm -hmm, or something. Mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. embryos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the I think it's this is not the same. Well, I don't know. So this is too much. The families they're talking, they look they're having a good time. Mom is drinking, mom is talking, Savannah is still there. Uh she's sitting at the table, um, listening and looking. And she knows too much about all their business at this point. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ooh, ain't this the birthday, birthday party? Is the yeah, birthday? when she cooked the food and made the cake, she was doing too much, and it was funny because before they oh, went in, uh, I think um Amy was it Amy saying it to Brooke or was it Brooke saying it to Amy? I forget which way it went, but she was like, she got to go, and she said, "Oh, why are you acting like that?" But the minute she got in there and saw that she cooked all that food and made that cake, her attitude changed. Exactly. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Exactly. Yeah, because she said she always bring the cake, and then um, 
uh, Savannah had this uh, professional cake and she had to make right. homemade cake with all about like, a hundred goddamn candles burning up the damn about to yes, burn the house down all them candles. Yes, and but the cause of fire. But, uh, wait a minute, but does y'all bring up the fact that Brooke had been sleeping with Savannah? She hadn't slept with her yet. Oh, okay. Think. She ain't okay. with her yet. No, 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 no it didn't happen yet. yet. But, but we're going to get there. Um. So, yeah. So, uh, the mom gets drunk. I don't know what. I don't know how she fell out or passed out or whatever. <laughs> but before that, she fell out on the she was talking about, um, she was talking about Amy. I'm sorry. Amy laughed that laugh. She fell right like on the it. kitchen floor. <laughs> 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 yeah, but oh, I feel like the way was talking about Amy to Savannah, and she was drunk, right. she was drunk. But I'm like, come on, Mama! Like, you got to do better than this. You can't just be talking about your kids to people, and you know, she ain't noticed. Like, she only, it's only been a couple of days, y'all. It's not like there's been months and months and months. It's yeah, been a couple of days. Way too much the mother was only Savannah was not sharing nothing. Days all together, so there's only a couple of days, and she was there. Mm-hmm. The dairy said Savannah was putting pills in her mom drink. That's what. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I yeah. believe that. I, I, yeah, she was That's drugging it. her. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Joy was too. Okay. Drunk. Okay. Because the daddy was like, "My pills are missing. I had twelve. Now That's I have seven. Yes. Yes. I, yes. I caught that. You know, caught it's caught like that. mixing it with alcohol. With that wine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Tell me something, because I was trying to figure out what the hell happened to the male. Right. I couldn't figure out. <laughs> yeah, she definitely was taking them pills and putting it in her drinks, and you noticed that she was already drinking a glass of wine, and she brought her over. I don't know mm-hmm. if it was whiskey, and it was some type of brown liquor that right. she brought mm-hmm. her in the cup, and then she put the wine down and started drinking that. I said, "Chad, yes. what the hell?" I, yeah, I, I caught that that the pills was missing. He even mentioned it. Yeah, he and mentioned. She tried it. to just dis- uh, dismiss it to the father, to her husband. Like, oh, you probably just didn't, you know, you probably didn't you want to she- take some of my blood thinners, go count them. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. She was yeah. she was a, a bit much. Now that's that lady was uh Joy was a bit much. Um, so mom is at the hospital from after passing out, falling out, whatever you want to call it. Um Amy, not Amy. What's the girl name? Blue. No, Savannah. So, uh, Amy is at home and her and her roommate kiss. I thought that dude might have been a little. Mm. He's but only twenty four. Like, no, I again. Yeah, I was shocked when they kissed because I thought he was yeah. part of the community. So right, yeah. right. Yeah, I, caught, I was caught off guard by that. Yeah, I, I was as well. <laughs> really? Mother, she is, I, 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 I thought he I was feeling her, and then he came and cleaned up all her stuff, and she cursed him to hell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <it's not> nothing. <laughs> The mess with all the the That's why we said she got a little splash of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> all together. Okay, so this is where she was taking those pills. Okay. And she no, is this where her and Savannah started messing around? I can't remember. But she did uh, put the pills Brooke, Brooke. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she was Brooke putting sorry, the pills Brooke. away. And back. then, you know, Brooke came walking yeah, Brooke in. Came in. Brooke, Brooke, yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, up. we gonna help. And then Brooke she talking about, oh, I would never treat you that way. Yeah, yeah, everybody was moving off of emotion, off of you know, I don't well, she thinking her wife, her girlfriend was fiance was fiance. cheating on her because yeah. she yeah, but I history. never understood why she didn't approach her about it. A lot of this stuff would have right. been avoided if they would just open right. their damn mouth. You and if talk. your fiance is cheating, you you verbally say something. What's going on? The lady she admitted it was like a but, competition. So they got right. that competition yeah. spirit from their dad. So it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to one-up okay. you. <laughs> yeah. So the office, the police, the detectives are sitting there calling somebody the cheater, the bootlifter, the rich prick, and a hot mess. I say, Who's well, I'll be doggone. <laughs> <laughs> what is even that? The bootlifter, that's Brooke. <laughs> oh, I thought she was the cheater. Uh... No, well, Troy is the cheater. Troy cheated first. We everybody cheater. getting divorced. Well, who was the rich prick? I thought Troy was the rich prick. Child, Tro- I don't know. Troy, Look, yeah, Troy is. is. <laughs> he would be the rich prick. Yeah, huh. he would be. Mm-hmm. So I guess, yeah, I guess Brooke is a bootlicker. But what is even that? <laughs> you, what? I thought, oh my god. 
I need an urban dictionary. I know Amy is the hot mess, child. We know that's I, a fact. Huh? Look, I tell you off camera what it means, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the heifer right here. This is episode four of this episode. Um, Savannah. Uh, Monique, you want to talk about Savannah? <laughs> oh, so Savannah, um, this is like the next morning. Um, yes. at the hun Gina, I mean, at the hun Brooke, not Gina, at the hun Brooke, Brooke um, uh, uh-huh. smash. So she heard um, Stan come in the house from the hospital and she's coming out the room well, only in her t shirt and her panties on. I'm like, girl, what is you doing? And then his daughter, uh, Brooke, is in the bed, sleep. She don't know what's going on. She going to tiptoe out into the kitchen. He like, wait, hold up. Whoa. And she see him in the kitchen, and she's still tiptoeing her ass in the kitchen with her T-shirt and her panties on. So, you know, she trying to, um, like, it's like trying to entice him, see how he was going to react to something. And he was so uncomfortable. He you can tell. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, he kept his head down the whole time when she was in there. He, he got his hands up, like, "Whoa, don't come like, no closer." Right. <laughs> come so, okay, she was gonna try to sleep with him, wasn't she? Probably. She was gonna she try to do something, but yeah. she did. What she she used this to later on when she had the conversation with Joy, um, episode six, I think, or either seven, I'm not sure. But she used this moment to put a battery in Joy's back. But you know, we'll talk about that later on. Yes. So I I I do I do appreciate him keeping his head down, not really looking at her because that was very uncomfortable. You're trying to put this, yeah. put this man in a bad spot, right? Unnecessarily, you know. But you're a manipulator, you're a master manipulator, and you've just been lying the whole entire time, you know. So we see you for who you are, and the stand being seeing you when you walked in the door with that little teeny scratch on your forehead, <laughs> right? Um, let's see. Savannah, Brooklyn, B, Joy, hospitals. Okay, Santa, Savannah, she always want to cook for people. She was, and then she, when Brooke finally got her clothes on, she lied to her daddy about why she's there. Right. Um, Savannah said, well, I'll cook you all something to eat. Girl, why do you want to cook so much? I said, uh, it'd be the last thing I ever take from her is right. some food or a drink. Hell no. Yeah. That was just crazy. Um, so Savannah got to go. So Stan is missing trauma. So it's trauma all that she was taking from him, um, which is some weak pills to me. If you want to ask my opinion, right? I was <laughs> you know, like, but I guess, but I guess <laughs> once it's mixed with alcohol, I guess it's, it could be potent. I don't know. It could be amplified, uh, right? Kinga, you want to talk about this part where uh, they really realized that the pills were missing? I know we talked about it for a few seconds ago, but you know, this is the episode. Yeah, I guess it was just trying to figure out like what she do with him. Mm-hmm. Like what could have that would have just been I just didn't understand all the figuring. Savannah, you're a guest in this house. You about to come out here, tell us where my pills is at, or or hit the road. <laughs> Savannah, right. it was just the way that she was trying to like, girl, what when did you become a lesbian? We didn't even we we heard you didn't escape from your boyfriend last time you said not that she couldn't mm. have been by, but she just had something for every single family member, it seemed. And, and she I didn't like that about her. Definitely was given like Kendall said, puppeteering the whole family. She was she's a master manipulator. Like she knows how to spot what it is in somebody that could be. That she can use later. Yep. She know how to identify their weaknesses. And their weaknesses, and, and the insecurities. Brooke is sitting there wearing, um, wearing her wedding gown and, right. and, and messing around with this man on the side. You know, this is how Amy's story to stop. Like, like, why are you the girl was pissed off. You know? And her fiance in the next room, like, what are you doing? Like, you, she got some, really? she got some big balls. Okay. That girl is crazy. Something is wrong. Well, really, Brooke really can't wrong. be too mad at her because she invited her to do that. Like, made right. it comfortable because Brooke was staying over at her mama in them house all of a sudden, more now. Mm-hmm. Right. And then her mom's like, why are you not at work? Don't you need to see your clients? Because she has a, a physical therapy facility that's struggling. Uh-huh. So, yeah. She started being around he- the house more because she wanted to be around Savannah. And mm-hmm. now, but see, they're at, at Brooke's house right now, right? Yeah, they're at Brooke's house right now. I'm just saying she invited her like like they're yeah. a couple because mm-hmm. they were spending time together. So 
the mama don't um she she don't be paying attention. She don't be thinking, and she probably be high and drunk the whole time dealing with Savannah. That's why she yeah. be everywhere with her because she just probably <laughs> just be inebriated, don't even understand, don't even know. So oh. trauma now interferes with blood thinners too. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So dang, Joy was over there lightheaded when she stumbled out that bathroom. <laughs> That is crazy. Slowly. Yeah, so she was over there drugging the lady and and carried. Oh Lord, girl. Uh, let's see. Anybody else want to discuss uh, Savannah and and? Uh, I'll say one more thing because I know this is Amy's episode, but this was the first time that I noticed that um, every child was basically passing the buck off on another one. Like to mm -hmm. the police, like, well, Brooke is the one that's like banging her. So maybe you want to look into her. Then Brooke passed the buck on to Troy. Like, I just didn't see that with Logan on to mm -hmm. Amy. Like, I guess it just happened. But yeah, as the episodes kind of progress, they start, the kids start kind of turning their backs on each other or the yeah, yeah. Too. Father on each other under the Troy. rug. Because <laughs> their mom is missing. It's like somebody look, should know something. Look, if daddy acts like he don't suspicious. know anything, somebody should know something. Father was being too suspicious, so I couldn't understand was. why they were feeling the way about the father. Mm -hmm. So, um, I wrote Savannah gotta go, the B gotta go. I don't <laughs> That's doing too much. So the power, and the power <laughs> has gone out. And I guess this is a, this is the now because they are dealing with the storm. And we yes. find some papers, some letters that uh Dennis wrote to the mom. Mm -hmm, and we did it. find out that Dennis has since passed, but they were very, so this series is telling, like, you get all the information about the family, like the dad's secrets, the mom's secrets, the children's secrets. Everybody's secrets are, are revealed in the series, and they are finding very little intricate pieces of the parents, like marriage and their relationship, and that is not perfect, like no marriage or no relationship is perfect, but you really see how things um really work in their marriage because they had Dennis or the mom had an affair with a guy named Dennis. I didn't catch all the information about it. If somebody does have some information or, you know, pay more attention to that part, they can speak on it about the mom and the, you know, Dennis relationship. Then you can, I think it's more, it's talked about more in episode six in Stan's episode. But if you, you know, want to talk about it now about the kids and the mom and the, 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 uh, the letters. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really yeah. remember. I didn't they don't think I caught too much other than the fact that dad knew that they was really tripping off of that. Yeah. Like, dang, dad knew about this. And yeah, Brooke uh approached ask mm -hmm. asked him, did he know mm -hmm. um, about the letters? He said, Yeah, I thought she got rid of those a long time ago and whatnot. And um they, but they the, the mother and father had a lot of secrets with each other that the kids mm -hmm. didn't know. It right. Like, yeah. And as they should not know, but right. in this case, because mom is missing, missing. Mm -hmm. you know, we finna find out everything. So right. Torx Tonya's mom said, Had Savannah spent much time around Brooke's girlfriend? No, I, she was I never around her. It was just the mama running her mouth for her. Right. Gina. That was a uh, Brooke girlfriend. Oh, Jeannie. oh, okay, child. Gina. I don't know. I didn't know the lady name. <laughs> <laughs> like, who is yeah, I didn't woman? know her name. Like, why'd you call him the G? She didn't really had that many scenes. She wasn't around. <laughs> right. <laughs> no. I but I appreciate that, though, because I did not know her name. So I guess I remember her name. Progressed, I was trying to narrow down the suspects, yes. And Logan was the one I thought the least would, that least would have done it, done anything but thought it would have been written that he did. I thought so, too, but... I, I wasn't sure. I'm like, it, like, like everybody's a suspect. I didn't know who was who did what. I just know everybody was acting weird, and the daddy was acting really, really, really crazy. That's all right. I can think. Yeah, but it did get to a point where everything was pointing to the dad. Yes, it, it did. Mm -hmm. it, it always started with him, and it it ended with him pretty much. So we see Mr. Logan, Logan. Um, it's our Troy and his little boo thing. She is vomiting and you know every time we see somebody throwing up what we think pregnant <laughs> pregnant well, was, her name is lucia. Was, lucia lucia thank you she was drunk as a skunk and she, yeah. she said it was the shrimps the shrimpies the scrimps 
she couldn't say it right. She was just drunk. Um, he he was like he wouldn't do anything to be around her. She, I don't know if it was the mama had his mind so warped that he was all up in Lucia, Lucia, Lucia like that, and he wasn't thinking straight that you would sleep with your boss's wife the way you were. But he was all up in this woman behind like crazy. He, he wanted to be in, in public with he her. Was, he like, we right. gonna make, I'm yeah. gonna make this official. I yeah. think that's that competitive nature though that they get from their daddy because he was he was competing with Monty. And then we find out later on that Monty was kind of like a surrogate father to him. So mm -hmm. he might have been, you know, just trying to get some sort of revenge on the father figure. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought she was preggers too. She turned him high. She did something because he was hot was, and I about her. I thought she was just drunk. I didn't. I, I don't know. She I don't was think she turned him out. I just think he, like he said, got the competitive nature in him, and he was like doing some self uh, sabotage and stuff. Yeah. But then the way he moving. Well, yeah, yeah. He, he know he's not all through. the way divorced yet, and she is married, and he going through right. a divorce. Like, mm -hmm. dude, and your mom missing. Yeah, and everybody was going through something and acting out in their own way. Like Logan was uh dealing with I'm not Logan, Troy was dealing with the married lady. You got Brooke dealing with Savannah, you got Logan, he kicked his girlfriend to the curb because his mom was missing, and you got Amy sleeping with her landlord or the, the dude how she was living. Everybody was sleeping with somebody acting different you know right. it was just real well weird. i don't think that other girl logan's girlfriend left because the mother was missing she wanted no, i'm not to... saying that i was just saying you know they broke up pretty much you know they weren't together anymore yeah he didn't because, he wouldn't, because he wouldn't move to seattle to be with right her. right now yeah. so ep okay so this is the last part of episode four um, why are they standing in that storm window like that with that storm going rolling carrying on? Now you know we don't do that by no windows and we're not playing. <laughs> right. no storm. And they standing there looking at the trees falling in the backyard. I see what the hell happened happen to the mail. What's going on? I said, man, if y'all don't duck for cover, okay. no, we don't stand no, by no windows sun. when there's storming outside. We don't stand no, by not when it's raining hard. No, because <laughs> we're not gonna deal with no, no, no light. And that was like a hurricane came through or something. Yes, they had a yeah. whole hurricane come through. Mm -hmm. You have to remember, Savannah wasn't a tennis player. Stan had no use for her. Stan didn't like that girl when she popped up at the door in the middle of the night. So, you know, he didn't have no use for her. <laughs> no. no. Tamiko, how do you feel about the conversation of them talking about uh, between Savannah, not Savannah, Brooke and her father? And I guess he could accuse her of being a cheater or whatever. And then. Now they, you know, discussing the cheating and the mom cheating. The, yeah, the mom cheating in the storm, and you know, how do you feel about about that? Um, I mean, at the end, your parents is not going to tell you everything that that they going through, especially something that's you know a part of their relationship that's not directly, uh, you know, part of you. I mean, I don't think mom is going to be wanting to tell you dad cheat or vice versa. And the fact that she was kind of mad, like, oh, you getting on me about me cheating, but this whole time, mom did what she did to you and, you, and like, you forgave her, you knew about it. And it's like, yeah, we moved past it. You know, she came back to me. Um, I won, which I thought was very interesting. And she said, oh, so it was just all about a, a competition to you. Everything is about a game and like, you know, competition, but we already know that they are not really normal people. <laughs> like they don't think about things like the right. average person probably right. would. So it was like, you know, she did what she did. She came back to me. I thought the letters was been gone, but I did think it was interesting at the same time that he was kind of, you know, pointing the finger at her like, oh, how dare you do this? Cause it seemed like they liked her girlfriend. And I think they also liked, um, Logan's I'm, I'm could be confused. Troy. Troy's wife, ex-wife, the one Claire. that he was supposed to be. So they seem to like the people that they chose, right? They like the Logan's girl that left too, but mm -hmm. at the same they keep time, it up. right? Yeah. It, they all just was messing it up and having yeah, their different right. issues. So yeah, and I think a lot of it had to do with them growing up the way that they did. It was yep. just showing how much. That one incident from their past connected all of them and had an effect on all of them in a different way. Yeah. Right. Can right. we all say it together? Therapy. 
Yeah, definitely. Yes. Therapy. <laughs> <laughs> family <laughs> therapy. For real. One on one therapy. They need. Mm -hmm. ooh, oh my gosh, they need it bad. They, yes. they need it bad. So that ends episode four, which was uh, Brooks episode. And we're going to go to episode five, which is centered around Troy. Um, I don't know where this picture comes from, but I think this is the guy that they end up talking to about Savannah and the $10,000. Oh, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. um, that she, he gave her for a car or something. That she took his car. car. She, she took his car, car but then he came back with a $10,000 okay, check. And it was like, well, where would she get $10,000 from? All right. Mm -hmm. Right. Right, right, right. Okay, so I I had other pictures of Troy. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, Troy and the uh, other guy. What's his name? That they don't. The name they don't like to hear. How about um, Harry. Were, um, Harry? Harry. Yeah, I was thinking of Harry. Was yeah, name? when they were younger and they were Harry was uh cheating. Mm -hmm. And Logan, you know, Troy, Logan. Oh, Jesus Christ! Mm -hmm. Troy is trying to tell him, you know, was like he's cheating, and everybody was looking like. Yeah, he was cheating, and they end up fighting, and they get up, end up getting into it. And Stan hits Troy, and the mom loses her shit, which I don't blame because, like, you, you was just doing too much. You was upset, and you know this boy is. You clearly see the boy cheating, and yeah, Stan, uh, Harry was, was uh, Stan's student. So. Mm -hmm. Harry, yes, he was, and he was like the stellar, the star student. He, I guess he was the only one. Out of all the ones that he had that was able to go to the pros because they never talked about anybody else um, or any any other people that were able to make it other than just that one. Um, yeah, it's yeah, but, Harry uh, he carried family, a lot of weight. His family fire stand. So, huh? His family, Harry family, had fire stand. Mm. Right, his. right, right. Yeah, they did fire him. Um, on this, well, I guess they had Over. reason to because. He thinking, but it was because of Troy. So he right. hated. I was Troy. thinking that too. Though. Yeah, so it, it, it basically stemmed from that incident happening all throughout these years of why mm -hmm. Troy and um, and him have the relationship they have, mm -hmm. and then it affected and rippled down to just the entire family. Because even yeah. from the very beginning, when he seen that he was coming back to the pros, that's what made him mad, and he turned over and he wanted to go to sleep. It was like. You know, left a bad taste in his mouth. It was like, oh, I thought he was retiring. What he doing coming back? So he definitely was holding on to that. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And at this point in the now, Joy has been missing for nine days. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> now all this happened within two weeks. Yes. <laughs> right. That's so crazy. And mm -hmm. she's in her car. She's looking at the a newspaper saying end of an era news clipping. Um, about the Delaney family and you know she kind of had a little smirk on her face or whatever and she walked into this little dilapidated house it had all these flowers and trees and shrubbery and all this stuff growing up around and I'm like wait girl wait hold on you had a house you got a car you got all this huh I was confused as to how she act like she didn't have anything but now you do have a place to stay I don't know how far away it was from the Delaney's but you know she had a place to stay um how did y'all feel about seeing her with the newspaper clipping and then she had a place, she had a house? Like, that was weird. I said, no, what's I just... going on? <laughs> just tell me now. I was so mad. I was just <laughs> so mad and confused just when I think, mm -hmm. like, dang, Stan, like, everything's pointing to you. Everything Savannah was pointing to Stan. Stan. I never thought anything else but Stan the whole time. Right, but then I, I felt really like cool. it was being too obvious, even though obvious. Stan mm -hmm. definitely yeah. came off like a D head. At the same right. time, I was like, they making it so obvious that it's him that I have a feeling mm -hmm. it's not going to be him because mm -hmm. everything was pointing to him just with his behavior, with him. Well, being it, uh, but I also thought, I thought if it wasn't Stan, then Savannah did do something. You know, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that too. Yeah. So yeah, I'm like, I think mm -hmm. the mama was still alive at a certain point because they there's nothing her body, mm -hmm. right? There's no body. There's no body. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we found the okay, body. Okay, but wait a minute, Monique. Well, let me ask Monique this: Did you think? And I know my, I might be jumping over, but did you think it was um that Stan did do something when he was caught on the video dragging 
we thought was a body, but it turned out to be trophy. I didn't but... think it when so I saw it that video. Her body on that video. When I saw that him dragging a body, I'm like, it could be either his wife or Savannah, because we know he was tired of Savannah. And yes. <laughs> that's what I was Whoa. thinking too. Even when we seen his car getting clean, him cleaning the car and sitting there okay. eating. I said, right. did you do something to like, <laughs> <laughs> He said, like eating a sandwich and a little smirk on his back. He just yeah, I was confused. Up. Right. Yeah. I was confused. But in this <laughs> picture, um, they are talking about getting rid of Savannah. Um, everybody's trying to get rid of her. She's just doing too much. And this then the then Troy comes in and say, I got it. Don't worry about it. I I, I got it handled. We really don't know what he's well, we do know what he's talking about. We're talking about the money. Yeah, um, I figured because, he was going to go right to money. Everything yeah. with him is money. And at one money, point, money, Stan money. even tells him, like, don't you know, try to pay her off or give her no money. Of course, that's exactly what the heck he was going to do. <laughs> right. Everybody used so, Troy money. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, venture what, capitalist. ATM. What, what did uh, Terry say on uh, Soul Food? Uh, automatically I Terry's Terry money. money. Yeah, automatically yeah, Terry's Troy money. money. <laughs> Troy was doing a whole lot of, for his family. Um, and that's because he really wasn't secure in, him, in himself as a man, uh, which we later found out, of you know, what really happened to him and his father in the end of the demise of their relationship. But he really didn't feel like, you know, a man, even though he was full grown, he just felt, I don't know. He felt like a, I guess a being, not even a human being. He just felt like he was existing at, in his family dynamic, you know, more so than, you know, his work life or his personal life. Um, so we see where Troy is going into the office with what's her name? My money, Lucia, Lucia, Lucia. And he has a folder and he has a box. And I'm like, what in the hell is he doing? And she's looking strange and he's looking strange. And then, you know, she's googly eyed over this doggone necklace. I said, what in, boy, look at them rings on her fingers. I said, so she got diamonds on all fingers. And right. then he can throw diamonds around her neck. Okay, all right. She married to the boss. Anybody got something to say about this Troy and Lucia and this gift? When she started laughing at it, I mean, because I thought, okay, she just off top. It seemed like Troy was interpreting the laughter as, wow, she's just taken aback by such an amazing gift. And I was thinking that she was looking like, dude, you doing too much. You yeah. think that, like, we for real going to be together, huh? Like, don't you know that I'm married to your boss? That's when it was giving, like, yeah, this lady is not on the same page as... Troy, not you even know, the same they book. yeah, they ain't even in the same book, uh uh, at all, Monique. You're right, yeah, it was just crazy, uh, yeah, but she was playing games with him too, telling him she loved him. Why the hell are you telling mm -hmm. him that? So that's right. why he really think that it's going to be something like, okay, I'm not with my wife no more. I'm getting ready to get rid of her. You could get rid of him and me and you can be together. <laughs> but yeah, something really wrong with right. you if you think you're going to go with the boss's wife. Like, that's the boss's wife. Hmm. He just having fun. Makes you think go he got on. a big ego. <laughs> yeah. Funny. Well, so stupid. stupid. I was like, hold a minute, let me rewind this part. What is this? Why are he looking at that man like that? But you know, he don't know what's going on. He the man was just, uh, just he just he didn't know nothing was going on. on he was oblivious he to everything. Him as a son, he, it he was going on right out. under his nose too. He didn't know nothing. Yeah, but I was so happy about this part that he was standing there listening to this. Uh, television. This lady tell her story on the television show, and it made me think about Risa Tisa. Um, right. I don't know but... why. <laughs> uh... <laughs> it made me think about her. But he heard the story about uh, I can't remember exactly what happened, but whatever Savannah told the family, that's exactly what this lady in this uh, on the TV show was telling this lady, the uh, the host. And Troy was like, oh, hell no. You done lost your mind. I got this. Uh, let me let my people know, because this is crazy. How did y'all feel about her taking a story directly from uh, somebody's real life, not knowing they would see it or hear it, and blurting it out to these people? Like, Savannah, you girl, do better. How did y'all feel right. about that? 
I thought the same yeah. thing about when it came to the Risa Tisa moment. I was thinking like <laughs> how all the other TikTokers that just had a bad experience wanted to come and share a 50 part saga. I'm just like, no, Troy, you got to go and tell these people what you didn't heard and you need to DVR this episode so they can see it too because they just ain't going to even believe you. That's the thing. This family was so dismissive of any like evidence or anything that was making sense from one person's perspective. They would just be like downplaying. They wouldn't even listen to each other. They so busy arguing with some stuff. Right, you right. They're just so busy to argue. So quick to argue. And pointing the finger at the other person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So okay, okay. I also, blamed the po- I also blamed the police too, cause they were stupid. Them police the po- were so goofy. They yeah, were so I, yeah. goofy. The police yeah, were, were goofy. Goofy. I mean, yeah, Y'all. they they uh, they, mm. <laughs> they wasn't doing no work. No, they really did not when go out to Savannah like they should you. have. They didn't go out to investigating her. They really stuck. They on did. They did. Right. You know, too, yeah. you know, too long. So, and for Joy to be a white woman missing, like, yeah, y'all need to really do better. This is exactly. not what we see in real life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they didn't take it serious enough, in my opinion. So, when mm-hmm. I saw this part right here, I said, "Oh shit, this girl gonna take that lady and throw her in the river." Oh, she didn't kill this lady. That's what I thought because it was like I got to tell you something, and I'm assuming when you tell when she tell us something. That it's gonna be something bad enough for Joy to want to knock her out or try to take her out of here, and then she go take her and throw her in the water. That's what I thought. Okay, That's you and thought. Tamika, y'all be adding um, more to the story. Oh, yeah. They be in the writing's wrong. They be writing. I'll tell they you. Be... <laughs> That's what I thought. Because I'm like, why are y'all hiking? What are you like? What's the significance of this? Like, Joy needed a friend. She had some older friends, and maybe they talked too much or talked about each other so much that she. Didn't want to be around him that much, but she needed a companion, a dog, a cat, or, or, or yeah, something. That's what it was. That's the reason was why bored. she got so close to her because she needed a friend. She was lonely. Or her kids turned their back on her, and nobody was talking. Her, her and her husband wasn't getting along. Then this lady came in at the right time. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. I didn't, I'm didn't. i like, what did y'all think about when y'all saw them walking and then the conversation that they had um, when she told uh, Joy about Stan looking at her in her t-shirt and her panties on. <laughs> I said, first of all, you was not naked. Anybody? Tamika? Uh, Amy? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. She was not. Yeah, I just thought you go ahead, Amy. Savannah, the way that like her face is looking right here and Joy's behind her, you could just tell that the the vibe was off. That, yeah, Mm -hmm. she's definitely going to probably do something on this trail. Hit her with a stick or something. I thought she was going to harm Joy on this little walk here. But she just steadily uh, dropping um, bits and pieces of info to turn the family against each other. Conquer and divide. I mean, divide and conquer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you, Tamika? Yeah, I pretty much agree with Aries. She was just playing her part playing her position with everybody, you know, trying to make Joy second guess things, get inside their head and make them feel a certain way. And Joy definitely was just lonely and wanting to have somebody there, especially since they was both retired now. And I guess she felt like, you know, she was doing her good deed by supposedly taking an alleged, uh, you know, abuse victim and looking out for them and then saying that she had been helping them in different ways by cooking and cleaning. And, oh, my kids never did that. I got somebody that's actually helping me and Stan don't pay me no damn attention. So (laughs) it was just like the perfect timing, like y'all said. Mm Mm-hmm. So uh, Stan and Joy are discussing uh, what Logan, I mean, oh, Jesus, these children's names. <laughs> Troy has told him about um, Savannah being dishonest and that she took her story from a story, you know, mm-hmm. on TV. Um, Monique, you want to discuss the conversation between Troy, I mean, Jesus, these two people. <laughs> Stan and, and- Joy. <laughs> Girl, yes. you can't get nobody named I, I get it. I get it, honey. But I got it written down now. Mind I, you. I, I, <laughs> well, it is too many names. I'm so trying to go off memory what happened. I know they talk about uh Savannah's story and uh Savannah had throw what um I mean Joy had throw what Savannah told her about the t-shirt and panties. Mm-hmm. How uh he the one that made her uncomfortable. Like she didn't walk in the kitchen and wash her pants. Right. Like she, we flipped it. 
mm-hmm. on him. Like he the one that approached her, and that was not the case. Right. He's like, mm-hmm. she got to go. She dishonest. She She's a liar. Mm-hmm. She got to go, and she and wanted- still under our roof. The roof of our like she's still under our house and. In our house, and, and she got to know. About her. So he was trying to get her to get Joy to tell her to leave. And Joy walked into the room with Savannah, and I don't know if I have that picture or not, but he walked in. She walked in there with her. Okay, uh-huh. so no, I don't. Okay. And she was like, I don't know what she said to her, but Joy just walked out and started doing something else. Joy, she must have been high the whole time because ain't no way. Everybody giving you all these signs. You got all these red flags about why this girl should not be in your house. And you still let her be there. Right. And you don't know nothing about the girl. She has a share of zero. Right. I, I don't, I, I didn't get it. Joy must have been on that trauma all in blood thinners the whole time. Because ain't no way you can't tell me. You can't tell me. You can't tell yeah, me she was sane and sober the entire time. You can't. Because it was just too much going on around you. And too much trouble in your home to make you feel like it was okay. Like you and your husband always having these conversations about the stranger. We should not have conversations about a stranger. Should not be arguing about a stranger. No, we're not doing it. No, no, not at all. So we get uh, Miss Savannah. She makes her way over to Troy's house. And he tells her that he's going to offer her 10 grand uh, as a token of his appreciation for the mother. Uh, for being there, helping them, and help her on her merry way. She does the Uno reverse and flips that thing on him and said, Well, you going with your boss's wife. Um, how do y'all feel about that? She just flipped it. He My, couldn't tell. When she thing. said that to him, I'm like, when her ass had time to spy <laughs> on this man when she up joy ass every day. Mm-hmm. Is I'm crazy. <sighs> I, I want <laughs> Troy to just knock her over into that water at this point. Like, oh, let him yes, know how Aries, you know. me and you is here. That's what I wanted him to do. And I just advocate for men doing stuff to women, but I'm so sick of her. <laughs> right. Yeah, that was one of those times. Man. I yeah. said, man, Troy, get rid of her. Yeah, oh. I'm like, when she had uh, time to Nice, trying... mama. Y'all, Reese was lying. You... No. Reese's, uh, what's his name? Reese's Pieces was not lying. No, <laughs> Reese's Pieces. Nah, no, Reese's she Reese's wasn't lying. Pieces. No, no, no. Savannah was lying. No, we just used Reese's Tisa as a, as a, uh, I threw her in. There. I mean, we don't know if Savannah's lying or not. We don't know. We needed Ginger Snaps to come throw, uh, damn Savannah in the furnace. <laughs> right. Ginger Snaps. Let me call Ginger Snaps. Ginger Snaps, what you, you ready? Now nah, she don't feel like coming on right now. Ginger Snaps. Like, we need ginger. We're gonna need ginger. We're gonna okay. Ginger need to come on in the end, okay, Angel. Yeah, so go off camera for a few minutes at the end, and then ginger need to come on and do what she got to do, okay? Oh, <laughs> right. So um yeah, he has to give her 40 grand and to shut her mouth. And it it I ain't gonna say it doesn't work, but I mean. The, the the boss was about to lose his mind. He wants to know was the necklace traceable. <laughs> he found it in her boot at home. And this man, his uh he, I can't it say that he goes, This dude looked like he was about just falling apart. He was about to go over over the edge. He was losing. He it. found it in her in her boot, boot though. Was hanging. Why are you looking for stuff? It. Why why are you, why are you, like, you about to put it on her boot or something? Like, he what? might have been right. That's why I said, "What are you doing with this lady shoe?" He might been boot licking. He might have been boot licking. <laughs> Inga. Child, boot yeah. not Aries. Brought that back. <laughs> <laughs> he up here boot licking through the lady shoes. Like, oh, what? Mm. Y'all, <laughs> they was just crazy. Listen, yeah, that he was, was over running on nasties. I couldn't get over that one. He was losing his mind. He was really going through it, knowing that his wife had a necklace. Uh, right. Monty was the straw poll thing. Yes, Monty was. Yeah, he Monty was, was going distraught. through yeah. it. Yeah, he was. Poor thing. He was going through it. You, do you think well, it's he was capable? falling apart? He was falling apart. And Troy was stumbling, bumbling over his words. I, 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 no, it's not Trace. <laughs> okay. Calm down, Troy. 
So, uh, let's see. You think you were turning these house? I don't know what they were talking about. I guess they're talking about, oh, I think they were talking about Savannah. Are they talking about paying Savannah right here? I'm not sure. I can't remember. And she was uh, talking about um, Lucia, his uh, Monty wife. Like, he was acting like, I guess they was talking about that as well. Uh, asking for advice uh, about uh, telling the truth, I guess. Okay. And then that's when he right. went back to the office and told that man it was right me. Away. <laughs> right away. Oh, that was crazy. Yes. That was crazy. Monty gave him the business, though. Yeah, <laughs> he did. He <laughs> and I went mad. Calls. I'm like, well. Uh-uh. There so, go. um, they're discussing Savannah and with, this is Tro this is uh, Stan. I can't really remember exactly what they were discussing, but they were discussing something. Did it? This might be uh the wrong picture. I think That's they're the out of order. Yeah, they're out of order. Out of order. Okay, Aries, you have those other. Pictures? I do. So I had most of them for um episode five, but I think we're in episode six now. So I'm gonna pull up what's. I no, we still in episode five with Troy. Oh, we are. Okay. Um, oh, we yeah. Troy. Okay. Yeah, I thought I had got some more, but I don't think I did. Um, but. I, I do have my uh, notes. So we did get the part, we talked about the part where, so Troy ended up talking to his boss and he's telling him that he did sleep with his wife, which I, I'm not going to say it was crazy because I don't know what I would have done because I don't know how much he was making and if I can afford to lose that job and will I find another one that makes that much money or more? I, I don't know. So, you know, that was kind of crazy to me. Um, but he said, I apologize to you you know, but yeah. you can apologize to somebody and then after you tell them you've been hunting their wife, like that don't okay. work, sir. That's not how it works in real right. life. Right. He was like, so just nonchalant about it, like get over it. I, I said, said I was like, get over it. Yeah, like get yeah. over it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you can't yeah. tell me that you know you was hunting my wife and you want me to, you know, yeah, get jury. over it. Because he was saying, um, I was your surrogate father, you know. Right. And yeah, you know. So I got the flies up though. Okay. I'll share your screen. And then Lucia uh, approached him. Like, are you out your mind? Right. She was not. You were a boy toy, Troy. Yeah. (laughs) You was not really an option. Okay, this was just that picture of uh that we were talking about when Joy went in there, like she was gonna tell Miss Savannah, look, Stan thinks it's time for you to. (laughs) to go she just couldn't even say nothing and i feel like savannah already overheard their conversation like she's just a few doors down so of course she's gonna sit up here coming with the sob yeah. the sob story then oh my bad i went backwards let me catch up look at her. wait what is it traceable no no it's look at this <laughs> knot. look at this knot, y'all that was so nasty monty get your nose <laughs> monty was i didn't realize he didn't her, know. Honey. Yeah, he went in there. Monty said, wait a minute now. What? <laughs> Picked up that golf club after all oh. this. Okay, yeah, yeah, here we go. Then we got Lucia slash Lucia. We I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Lucia. I don't know. Lucia, so thanks. she was not feeling it. Is this what we was left leaving off at? Yeah, we yeah. we're getting ready to go into that. So uh Logan and Lucia were talking, and he wants to be together. He's acting like this is going to happen right here, right now. We're, we're just going to walk off into the sunset and be together. She was like, no, this was an illicit love affair. And I don't know if I love you or not, but we, you know, we're not going to be together. We can't do this. You she really said, punched you the wrong dad. Life. You should have been punching your own dad, you know, not right. your surrogate father. Uh, let's see. Did we ignore the part where the beginning was staying smack the damn tennis ball right in that man mouth? Uh, we, we went over that. We went over that part. At, or are you the only sickle rewinding and laughing? Did, no, I looked at it a couple <laughs> times. <laughs> yeah, okay. but yeah, that was. Uh, I don't know what he. I guess she may have led him on to think that they could be together. I don't know. Like, like when was she who, telling you she loves you? Was it only in bed? Because I don't think that counts. Okay. Troy, if that's not your woman, that she, only, she, never, did, she probably never. That's probably in his head. Right, yeah, it was in his name mm-hmm. because she never green lighted, like, yeah, we, we can go in public, we can go bring it out to the public. She never green light that, uh, 
Mm-mm. that uh, situation. Mm-mm. So, yeah, he was tripping. Then the police come up and they saying like, "What were they saying right here?" It was um, so goofy. These oh no, that was a. Uh, he was telling about us telling him to sit down. He um uh tell him why he think his father did what he did to oh, him. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, they talk about the events too. that happened that day about the Yeah, yeah. He laid it on thick too. Oh yeah. my God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but he always always had it in for his dad. Like he was the first one to mm-hmm. really feel like I feel like putting the pressure on um Stan when the lies wasn't adding up. Then we got right here. He asking Savannah, like, I mean, I gave you the 40 racks. What are you still doing? Like, she was like, I changed my mind. Yeah. That's what it would have been like, Brooke, Brooke, come in here and handle my lightweight because <laughs> or whoever else was just as mad as her. I think it probably would have been Brooke and um Troy that could have just got rid of her. Mm-hmm. But she was stirring the pot the entire no, time. She was stirring the pot. She was you asking Savannah why I think she it would be Amy. Tennis. Amy should take her up. She was yeah. asking she Savannah why she didn't play tennis. Brooke she was Brooke. asking uh, uh, Troy what happened. Like she was asking too many questions because the mama had been chatty patty talking too much, and she already knew certain things about the family. You know. We find out later on how we, you know, get to that point. And it was but, irritating me. I didn't understand how yeah. nobody was cursing her out because it was right. at the most random times. You just intervening. Oh, can I ask you something? And why you didn't do that? I would have been like, this is not your damn business. What the hell? You? This is not your business. This is family matters. Stay out of family mm-hmm. damn business. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. Like, they was entertaining it too much for me. They, they yeah. were answering too many questions. They were. Question. They were. And every time they saw that dog on Harry Hadid commercial, Daddy would lose his dog on mine. And then Savannah was getting the party started. Oh my God. She every was getting the party started. He was getting the party started. Troy was over there bouncing that leg. He was losing his mind. It was just on and popping after that. After that commercial came up, and then Savannah leave out with the cash. Once they everybody start to uh once the truth comes out about the mom uh was the one that told uh, Harry. Harry's father Harry. to fire Stan, mm-hmm. and oh, it was a wrap after that. Yeah, I, I was I pissed off that. with that because, like I said, a lot of this would have been avoided if all of y'all would just have been damn honest and said a lot of stuff from the freaking beginning. Then mm-hmm. you probably wouldn't have had your family in turmoil. But at the same time, I was like, okay, this is the big secret. Like I also was expecting it to be more. But then I was like, at the end of the day, you kind of watch your son suffer through mad freaking years and get blamed for something that he didn't do. And you could have just been said that. And this is the point that caused the kids to not speak to her. Her, Yeah. 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 She held on to this information. She should have just said it up front. Yeah. Stan said, I mean, Kendall said Stan, all Stan seen was dollar signs he missed out on when he saw that commercial. That was yeah, it. He was like, yeah, he definitely yeah. felt like he missed out on everything and he was blaming, you know, his son for getting mm-hmm. into the fight with him. But it's like all this time. And then nobody wants to apologize to nobody. That's another thing that, that irritates yeah. me with them. That's kind of like a damn uh <laughs> freaking uh trigger for me because i got yeah. family members that you never want to say what you did wrong and apologize you just want to be like move on from it okay mm-hmm. i did it no oh, big right. nothing to right. see here like no we'll apologize mm-hmm. right right you see how she came out there to me when she was like i'm not coming out here to ask for an apology I just want you to understand. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah that's what it was given. Like this is one of them families that don't say sorry. Mm-mm. So I think they were at the pool hall. Uh, Logan and Troy were there. And then the dad pops up to talk to Troy. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I can't Logan really remember the conversation. Up. Anybody remember this conversation? Basically, I believe that um, Logan surprised him. He didn't know he was coming. And he said right. he wanted them to talk like man to man. And, and Troy was kind of like man to man. Now all of a sudden, <laughs> like he didn't want to hear it. He didn't want to have no discussion. He told me we'd buy him a beer. And he was like, a beer? Really? He's like, what I want you to say is you messed up as a damn parent. You was not a good dad. And he wasn't going to say that. So, Mm -hmm. (laughs) Right. 
Right. Yep. Can't uh, say oh, sorry. Excuse. And this one, po the police get a hold of Stan. And I think that this is Stan's episode <laughs> by now. I think this is episode yeah. six. Yeah. She said the yeah. police get a hold of Stan. That was got funny. a hold of him. <laughs> Drag them on down there. Oh. For one second, I do want to mention when um, Troy went to the house to talk to the father, he was talking to the, he told him about he talked to the cops and he told him, I wish I could have saved her from you like you saved me, like she saved me. And he was stumbling over his words, of course, because he was nervous about telling his father that, but he was like, yeah, I had to come tell you like a man. And I'm like, dang, you got to really do that, to, you know, to, to prove to somebody that you are a man, you got to tell them what you really feel. I get it, but then again, the I don't feel that's not my life. He did. But that was a telling Yeah, moment. because then he also felt guilty. I mean, yeah. I think they all felt guilty to a certain point because they all admitted to each other. Like, she called me that day that she went yeah. missing. None of us answered. We wasn't speaking to her all this time. Now she's gone. And like y'all said, he pretty much thought that his father was capable of this from the beginning. So, or thought he had something to do with her disappearance. And it was like the more things, you know, piled on. And then seeing that video where we thinking that this looks like a damn body that he possibly dumped in the water. It was not looking good for Stan. So it was mm -hmm. like, you know, I, I wish I could have just, you know, got at you so that nothing wouldn't happen to her. I understood him saying that because that's his mm -hmm. mom at the end of the day. And he and think his dad <laughs> took her out. out. Yeah. I mean, yeah. after um, Troy told um, Stan what he did, how he felt. That he told the police on him or whatever. After that, um, uh, Stan had a panic attack or a heart attack. Yeah. He oh Lord. Yeah. And them panic attacks, attacks ain't no yeah. joke. You will feel like you have a damn no, heart attack. Panic attacks are no joke. Yes. Yeah. 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 It feels like I'm a heart attack. Yeah. I'm in the hospital, but yeah, that is crazy. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Yes, Monique. I'm glad you brought that up because I had kind of forgot about him having that uh what looked like a heart attack. But end up being a uh, um, I'm like, Troy Burris killed this man. I'm like, don't do this. <laughs> yeah. He was yeah, he laid it on him. Right. Like, he, walking off. he looking like dead. Did I really take my wife out of here? I mean, he looking like they got me, you know? So, right. He was pissed. Did off. I do it? You better now it's time to play crazy. You don't know what's going on. Right. You don't know your name. You don't know the president. <laughs> it did make me laugh when the cops was talking oh, to him and was like, you know, just go ahead and write your confession down. We'll make some kind of deal with you. You won't have to do as much time. And when he went to they write, really it, thought I thought he was going to tell them F you, but I mean, right. he didn't. I, I thought he was going to say F you. I really thought, yeah. yeah. But before that part, um, he was in the hospital. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Tyler, the black lawyer, came yeah. in. Mm -hmm. That's his uh, representative. So right. The only mm -hmm. good person on here was the black man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and she was holding that envelope. This is episode six right now. I believe so, but I thought I had a picture yeah. of Tyler. So I'm trying to see if my slides are updated. Okay. Kim is trying to do what it want to sometime. But, um, uh, so, yeah, she was Kendall. holding that envelope like she was right. Like, she just knew it was some good news. I don't know what she thought was in the envelope, the way she was holding it, like flipping it over and looking at it, like just open it up. <laughs> I don't know if she thought the kids had sent her something. I don't know what she thought it was in the envelope, but because it's not a it's not it doesn't have a return address on it. So mm -hmm. I don't know. So you know it's from who you know who, Savannah. Yeah, right. I never got why Stan got rid of the trophies by dumping them in the ocean. Why not throw them in a the trash can dumpster or landfill? Right. I said the same thing. I mean, I don't right. know why he, he chose the ocean, but he, uh, right. he just wanted to get, I guess, he just wanted to get rid of them because all this mm -hmm. tennis stuff caused all his problems. You know, it's because of tennis is what caused yeah. all his problems. Yeah, sorry, y'all. I'm just clicking through That's to okay. get a picture of Joy okay. because I don't have a, no other slides. And this next episode is Joy's episode. So I thought we could get this dumb face that she's been making throughout the series. <laughs> because she has always been looking so like, what? Mm -hmm. In shock, <laughs> in denial, just. Mm -hmm. We're not at Joy. We're not at the, the, seven the problem. No, we on episode six with Stan when he um had his heart attack. Well, the anxiety. Mm -hmm. And um, 
Yeah, he found out he has Lord Tyler as his lawyer, and um, then that they the the uh, the detective is telling him that he has a a search warrant at his house. They go tear that house up, Lord mm-hmm. have mercy. Tore it up. They tear yeah. his house up. Um, Brooke tells him that she'll help him clean it up. Um, Logan and Troy talk, and it was like you know Logan was saying that he really didn't want to play tennis, and that he was such a lap dog. Um, and I guess because he just took whatever they did and whatever happened, he just took he just takes it. He doesn't like really have a backbone. I guess is what a lap dog is. Is that what it is? Uh, yeah. That's why I kind of um, felt like Deja? Logan could have been the bootlicker when Torek put in the chat that uh, it was an ass kisser. So I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Logan was really like that with his dad. He didn't get the same experience that the older kids got because by the time they met him, like Amy was telling Brooke. We had to go through like dad not being on the pro level and you know, not worried about punishing kids. Like, he's a coach at this point when y'all are getting introduced to him as your dad. Like, he's a, he was way more on chill, even though he was on 10, <laughs> he just wasn't doing as much to y'all as he was when we was coming up. Mm-hmm. Uh, did y'all skip a part about how Logan came across the tape? The video, oh, yeah, we didn't talk about that, but you can go ahead. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um I don't know what episode it was. Could have been the last episode, the Troy episode. It could have been Yeah, I think it was five because he emailed it to the people. Yeah, uh it, the guys who work out there on the boats with him, they say they um set up cameras to see something, I guess to protect their assets or something. Yeah, it's like security it, cameras. Yeah, security cameras. Then he asked, like, do you have of any footage from this day and time so he goes and look and see at first they don't show us until the end of the episode what he saw and he shared it with uh i think i believe brooke he shared it with brooke because he went to her uh physical therapy uh therapy uh facility and showed her and i at that point i was like why they just ain't showing us i'm like that got me in Suspense, like, what is on this uh footage? Right. You hear something going on. You see they facial expression, like, who is it? And what's going on? And then he got to a point that he sent it to the uh police detective or whoever emailed it to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I said, oh, we... Because Logan is the one who believed his, believe in his father. Mm-hmm. And Troy was against his father. So it was kind of hard pill for him to swallow. Yeah, after seeing that, mm-hmm. him on the boat dragging, yeah, wood, definitely made it look suspicious. But I figured that was gonna come into play some kind of way once he gave him the ID and said, yeah. Oh, you could use it anytime. This person is no longer, you know, amongst the living, and you could take the boat out whenever you want to. And as soon as he asked the guy, like, Did you take my boat out? I ain't even got no more gas, and then like, You ain't right. fill it back up. And it's like, Nah, it wasn't me. Check the log. And once he saw that. You know, his dad is the only yeah. one he gave that ID to to use. So it's like, but well, what was he here doing? Then that definitely made it look real suspicious. And I think it was the same night of her disappearance. So, yeah, of course, yeah. we going to want to go look it up and see what's happening. Yeah. Didn't look good for Stan. <laughs> no. It kept, it was getting worse, worse and worse, as the old people say. Right. Mm-hmm. It didn't look good for him at all. And that's this what made him got videos. arrested. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, and that the, is the, also the, true, the, like the yeah. Suarez siblings, mm-hmm. especially, you know, usually the older ones, like everybody going to have their own experience. When I talk to my younger brother and sister, their experience and their memories is not the same as mine. Like the oh, parents right. do kind of sometimes be different either with the firstborn or the last one. And then they a whole yeah. nother way with the grandkids. Yeah. So, you know, when they were saying yeah, like, you don't that. remember how he was and he's this way, that way. It's like, no, I don't because that's not the way he was with me. So, I, you know, mm-hmm. that is a real yeah. thing. They every sibling, every every child gonna have a different experience uh, of how they was raised with their parents and yeah, mm-hmm. you know exactly. so yeah, um, but I didn't like how the the cops well the detectives were you know tell him to plead guilty and show and then show remorse maybe your sentence will get you know be less. I, I hate when they do stuff they like that. Goofy, anyway. what to do. I'm like, where is your lawyer? Like, dude, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Where are you yeah. 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 Yeah, Stan was stupid though because his lawyer already told him do not speak to them without me. And he did it anyway. He did it anyway. 
Yeah. And he started talking to them about Harry, uh, uh, uh the Harry Hadid person. Mm-hmm. Like wow. now, it, now they think you do have something because now you're mad at your wife. Like, bro, shit, oh, right. dude, I told you to be quiet. You just talk too much. Ooh. Now you got a motive. Exactly. Um, I don't know if you have any other slides, but um, so we do go back where we see the mom talking to Logan, and she was telling him that. He, she thought he was unaffected by what she, you know, by the father, by him and the father, you know, going at it and her not telling the truth. And he was strong. And that's why she didn't tell the truth. In my later years, I've learned that you just because somebody seems strong, don't mean that they are really strong. They probably barely holding on, to be honest. And right. right. I hear a lot of people saying that you this is my strong child. I didn't really have to do X, Y, Z for her. When you really should have been paying attention to that child because that would be the one that's going to break. You know, right. you never know what's right. going to happen. That pissed me yeah. off that she said that to him. I'm like, that's a poor yeah. excuse. Like, what the right. hell you mean? Okay. Oh, I knew you could handle it and you strong. No, mama, you tell the damn truth. Like, what yeah, the hell are you talking crazy. about? Because I wouldn't want my husband to mistreat my child for something I did. I would make that shit right. Like, no. Because I'm I'd rather be miserable than my child to be miserable. I'm not gonna do that. No. That was crazy. But yeah. he, her head might have been knocked off back then. As she said so. Not her head. Huh? It would have been, been, been her head in the washer and dryer. <laughs> okay. Furniture would have been moving, boy. You did what? <laughs> oh yeah. So he's too old to do that now. He can do it now. Right. He's gonna be grabbing it. Yeah, they don't tell me what he would have done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so Brooke and wife were playing tennis with the dad and mom. Oh, child, hey, they mom, they left when the mom came to the house when they was playing tennis. I say, God, don't y'all really don't she like didn't this even know what to do. She was just y'all like, um, even y'all tennis session. That was crazy. Right. They, they just didn't like her, you know. She they just walk off. They go, all right, bye. That was yeah. just crazy though, how they let that one moment, like, dang, the daddy get all the the leeway. Like, mm-hmm. and like she said, man, you you been um basically like letting them down or letting me take the fall for you not being around forever. Like mm-hmm. in so many words. Like, yeah, Joy was basically a single married uh, a married single mother. Like yeah. when they was sitting down and she was telling them <laughs> all the stuff, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Stan, you've been in and out of the out the picture, barely doing what what needed to be done. This was all Joy running the show, even though she wasn't right in um, like you said, telling Troy, "You're my strong strong child. You could have handled it." Clearly, he couldn't handle it, even when his mm-hmm. daddy was pitting him against uh Harry. Like he yeah. could not handle that. So why would you think he would be <laughs> able to to handle your lie or the, what you did or take the brunt of that? Yeah, that was sick. Mm-hmm. So Troy meets his wife um, with the sign and notarized documents about the embryos, um, and he tells her he wants his mom to be proud of him. Uh, that was very to me. That was kind of sad. Like you was putting, it's like you putting an end on your mother's life, not really knowing where she is or what's going on. And it's like you're. It's only been be- two weeks. Probably not even a full two weeks yet. Right. Yeah, it's like, like they had the funeral and the memorial service and everything. I mean, yeah, to me, that was something you would do after the fact once you realize she is gone. Okay, well, let me go ahead and do this, you know. But you finna go give these embryos to your ex wife or your soon to be ex wife or her and another man to, to, to do. Like, I mean, so. Girl, man, I mean, he's to his own, but I, that's something I wouldn't do. But right. yeah, but you got to think about it at this point. His dad has been arrested for it, and you know, we see that he yeah, bagged, right. getting dumped, and the, he's thinking of the last conversation he had with his mom, where she's like, You're gonna do the right thing, or some mess like that, because you know, they know that they was fighting back and forth about this, and and that's what she wanted. And you know, I, I mean, guess he, he felt like this was. Yeah, he warned yeah. the relationship. So, mm-hmm. yeah, and he admitted to her, like you know, I'm the one that basically messed it up myself. I, I self destructed. So, right. seemed like they came to a peaceful place with each other. And then he found out that she had still been having conversations with his mom this whole time. 
yeah. and that you know she was worried about him and she was sorry for he's like oh she told you about that so mm -hmm. yeah yeah Kendra, I agree yeah yeah that was that was uh telling that she told him about it mm -hmm. you know I mean told um the ex-wife about right. what she had done Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. So they say you cost us everything. Are you happy that they have turned against me? That's what Joy tells um Stan, but he doesn't respond. He just stands there, looks stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the envelope to Joy Delaney. Um, I think they are at the no, they're not there yet. Okay, so they are looking through the items for to try to see if they could uh figure out who took their mother by the clues that that were being sent to Amy. So Brooke is trying to look through them and see what's going on. She did come up across this document that said Miss D and everybody called her Miss D were a part of the club, the tennis mm -hmm. club. Um, mm -hmm. So they go to this lady's house um, and they talk to her and she <laughs> said, I'm not talking without this. That lady family. was like, funny, but I was like, okay, what the <laughs> hell is really going on here, Miss? No what the hell do you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> Lady, shut up and talk. Shut up and talk. She, she was said, run me up. my money. Right. Run me my money. <laughs> okay. I'm not she was anything like, till I get my bread. No money, okay. no answer. I'm like, um, okay, you made us okay. All right. Well, you ain't make us come out here. Yeah, we came mm -hmm. out here. And basically but, said your mama is raggedy. You don't know. <laughs> that's right. Your mama yeah, trash. Yeah, yeah. I, ooh. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> that lady was wild. She was oh, honest. Lord. Yes. Well, true. So the kids finally get to the police department and they walk in and find that their father has been charged with first degree murder. Now there's oh. nobody. Nobody. Still nobody, nobody child. But he's been charged with first degree mu uh, murder. Um, they play the tape of them um, of the father's podcast that Savannah got him to do. And we hear all the scuffling and all this the shouting and the conversation between the parents. And then some Brooke runs out because it sounds horrible. Um, Dad calls Brooke from jail. Brooke declines the call. And she was the one that was by his side the entire time. How do you all feel yeah, about Yeah, she was the only one still hanging game? on. And I was kind of annoyed with her when okay. Logan first came to show her the video. And she's like, why are you showing me this? I don't want to be a part of it. I'm like, oh, shut up. <laughs> um, <laughs> the it's recording did nice. sound crazy. I get it. But at the same time, I was like, well, where's the rest of it? Because if it was recording, then it should still be someone. Mm -hmm. Like, of course, just that little part is going to make it seem a certain way. But Right. Clearly, it when we crazy. seen the actual incident, they still were saying something else after that. So I was like, it's convenient that y'all didn't have that part. But yeah, I get it. The first yeah. listen to that audio would have been like, yeah, what the hell? Like, this dude really took my mama out. <laughs> because right. did he, cause you hear her saying like, like no, you hear her saying no or don't right. do something. Stop. Then he started doing things, but you don't hear her mm -hmm. say nothing else. I was like, oh mm -hmm. my god, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And mind you, she was the one that was mostly kind of you know jumping in it, and then he started just throwing stuff all around. <laughs> right. He starts throwing everything. The cold yeah, rack, yeah. book, everything. Off the but it sounds he like he's sick. throwing her around. It don't uh -huh. sound like he's just throwing things. Throwing the, you know? Right. Because so, you, you don't hear her say anything else. You hear him kind of breathing or whatever. But you don't hear nothing else from her. And I was like, oh, my Lord, Jesus Christ. What in the world right. is going on? So it's like in real life, what did Joy just walk off? Like, I'm going to bed. Forget this fool. Because <laughs> it's like they did, they argued a lot. Like right. Yeah. Family. So I was thinking, like, dang, that didn't sound good. But right when we got the visual of what really happened, <laughs> it was like, okay, yeah, this is a normal day at the Delaney's. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. And she yeah. was just oh. like, oh, you're gonna walk away like you always do, and then you know she kind of just went and like he really was telling the truth. She just left on her own. She literally threw her phone in the basket. I was like, well, wait a damn minute. <laughs> right. <laughs> You know, and then we kind of got a little bit of backstory as far as then, like when the cops was talking to him too, saying, "Well, your father, you know, we looked into your history, and your father apparently was, you know, beating up you and your mama, who got the worst of it, and he was 
thing. And his mama did so it was like, well, damn, did it pass down to him? And now he repeating the behavior that he saw from his father. You know, uh, it was just crazy. Very. So uh, then we see Savannah again pulling up to her house. Uh, she gets excited about reading the newspaper clip. And when she goes into the house, who do you all see? I said, I, I know Joy I ain't standing here. <laughs> I was about to throw the remote at the TV at this point. I said, man, I know this lady ain't My mouth up fell here. open. I was like, what is yeah. going on? I'm like, Joy better not be part of this uh, scheme. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I know the that ain't who, think, who I think it is. And she's sitting here pouring a glass of wine. Right. <laughs> what yeah. the hell? Yeah, yeah, and I definitely was thinking that for a minute. I'm like, okay, is she kidnapped, or did Joy set this up to make her right. family worry yeah, about I her? Thought, yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, I thought too. She set it up. Yeah. I thought yeah. Joy set it up until we found out the backstory and all that. Mm -hmm. But before that, I said, oh, she set this up because her family was treating her bad. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna teach them a lesson. I'm gonna right. teach them a lesson. That's exactly what yeah. I thought. Yeah. Yes. So. Episode seven, joy, 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 joy. Lord have mercy. Mm -mm. So, I don't, I don't, I didn't take many notes on this one. So I'm gonna need y'all help to help me stay in. It don't really matter. We, we just go talk about it. So mm -hmm. Joy is riding a bike. She falls off the bike. Well, she hit a pothole. Well, I guess you want to call it a pothole or, or, or you know, whatever <laughs> hole in the road. She bursts her knee. Y'all, that was so much doggone blood for a bust up knee that why was that jacket so soaked in blood? I mean, oh, y'all made it. I mean, we don't know how deep the cut was. Which if was, she was too was deep, dramatic. she should have gotten some stitches. She was right. That's true. You, the old lady she walked didn't go on. to no hospital. She just went and put a band-aid on it. So, so man, oh, child, let me tell y'all, I fell and bust both my damn knees in the winter. Oh, I never want to fall like that again. And I ain't have that much blood like Joy had, but my knees were swollen up like nobody business. <laughs> a fall when you older is not like a fall when you a kid. I will say oh, that. Oh, I know but. that's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, blood thinners. Ooh, yeah, that could be too. Uh, that's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. maybe she, that's she, why they made a point of showing. That's why those. I got paying attention right. to doing things like that. Yeah, so. mm -hmm. blood things a couple of times. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she falls off the bike, bursts her knee. She calls Troy. She gets no answer. She gets Logan. No answer. She calls Stan. No answer. Nobody answers the phone. So she takes off her white jacket, wraps it around her knee. And walks home. She don't mm -hmm. live home. She walks home. Mm -hmm. That's what got me about a tag on blood. <laughs> okay, blood then it. Um, so then we see that she throws her jacket, attempts to throw it in the trash. Of course, it hits the ground. I don't know why. Anyway, I ain't gonna ask about this TV show. Like, oh, yeah, you know, we turn around mm -hmm. and make sure it went in there. But um, Mary Harriet, which is the dog, he takes the jacket home. Hmm. I said, oh, <laughs> You ain't tell me the dog. Okay. Took it home, <laughs> buried it, and then like unburied it. it. Dogs right. will bury yeah. things all Yeah, dogs will do stuff like that. But I'm just yeah. saying, you know, we thought Stan and buried this lady jacket. Right. <laughs> right. It was like, what That's was what the I'm chances? Saying. Just random That's things that saying. ended up. Yeah. Episode seven, it all comes. <laughs> it all comes together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. say, I got so pissed off when I saw Joy yelling. Hey, me too. Me too yes, 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 yes. Did Hurricane Wind blow? No, the jacket never ended up in the trash can. So Mary Harriet, the dog, took the jacket because it was on the ground. And she didn't throw it in there. It just hit. She just opened it up or whatever. And the she dog just didn't pick it up. Home. She yeah. just threw it and it didn't. She just threw it, didn't, it. Yeah. yeah. I guess she's a dad, bump dad, you know, whatever. But she's Mary the Harry, that jacket. Mm -hmm. right. Mary right. Harry came and got the daggum jacket and took it and went home and, and put it in the ground. <sighs> Anybody want to talk about the conversation that when when uh, Joy mistakenly cut Stan? I guess she had a ring. The ring cuts her cuts his face. I was Mistakenly like, cut him? Let me I mean, know what yes. happened. Okay. <laughs> <Get Monique. laughs> that wasn't a mistake. <laughs> hey, 
Go ahead. Tell tell me your story. <laughs> <laughs> tell us your story, Monique. Tell us your story about the read, about, about what Joy did to uh Stan. I mean, that the movement was not a mistake. It was like essentially like get the fuck off me or get the fuck, you know, <laughs> back the fuck up. That was like a that's what it was. That was a movement. It was like, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. This, this right. she was mm-hmm. remorse afterwards. So that's I'm like, that's not an accident. <laughs> yeah, Kimball said she was aggressive in that situation. So yes, yeah. she was. That's I'm like, <laughs> an accident. Joy, mm-hmm. you no start acting the fool. She was that's wild. She was wild. When she on fell off that head. bike. That was an accident. But when yeah. you yeah. in the heat, oh, she punched <laughs> him in the face. Oh, she scratched him across the face. Right. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. You in the heat. And he had a nasty cut too. I just knew. She was fighting for her life and had a blade and that knife had to scratch that man's face and you know this long draw out sure about how her life <laughs> came to a close. <sighs> man, this why is why you so you say episode. that. Like, yeah, your yeah. mom hit me in the damn face and scratched me up. Her ring caught hold of me. You sitting up there talking about you fell in the uh aloe vera plant or the palm tree, whatever you saying. Like, yeah, it was so stupid. <sighs> Yes, Kendall. So she had her phone because she called Troy telling him she needed help. Why not call her Uber or a Lyft? Nope. Her silly behind walks home and throw the damn phone in the laundry basket. Correct. Because she saw that her kids was not texting her back because she said yeah. she'll cook dinner. And they said, no, I'm busy. Oh, I got work. So they were like... Well, maybe she didn't live that far that she could walk home versus catching an Uber. She she might not have been that far from home. True, true, yeah. true. Yeah, she walked home. Mm. But then somebody... They found her bike and they what were they trying to do with the bike? Um, I think it might be episode two or three. Somebody found the bike, yeah, and they put it in the back of their truck. Yeah. Was they trying to pawn the bike or something? They probably was gonna fix it. They, they probably gonna, the gonna take it to the scrapyard. <laughs> or yeah. they just gonna have it like, oh, I found the bike, y'all. I'm gonna stick the rim and just never gonna get around to it. I hoarded it and caught it. All right. So um they knock the stuff over. He's yelling, stop, but you don't hear anything. Okay, so yeah, after they have the argument during the podcast, he leaves the, she calls him for something. I can't remember what she called him for. I don't know. It's, a let, it's because of her, she failed. I don't know what the conversation was supposed to be about, but it ended up being them arguing. And that's when you hear the tape recorder still, re- we see him take the headset off and we know it's still yeah, going. I think he was so recording his podcast or something. He was yeah, doing. he was doing his podcast and we see, you know, we hear the argument. When we see the whole thing go down, and that's when she leaves and walks to the bar. Now, I didn't take any notes after that because I was in my feelings. Um, <laughs> so hilarious! I was good. I was like, so they go to the bar, and she asks the guy to use his phone. Once she sees, opens the envelope up, and it's from Savannah. She calls Savannah. She scoops her up, takes her home, takes her to her house. Uh, anybody want to discuss that scene or in that what happened with Savannah and Joy? Why are you going to her house? I just didn't get it. You know, I, at first they this, had a conversation. This family at the bar. very much lacks common sense. Like she admits everything to her in the bar that this is yep. something she does on a regular basis. And you know, basically, she conned people. She get what she could get. She still right. don't know the bigger story at hand, but she is admitting that part to her. She's like, "No, my name is not Savannah. At this point, my real name don't even matter. I can't remember it because I use so many different names." But you over here, like, hold up, wait, let me take a ride with you, like, girl, what? Right. I didn't... Yeah. yeah, Joy is kind of special, Josh. Yeah, I-, I was done with with the with, with them. <laughs> I finished why, but I was just done. Yeah, I was like, oh. and what are you doing, lady? Anybody else got something to talk about with that episode? Yeah, what I'll say like episode? just like we were saying with all with with Savannah coming clean, so to speak. Joy, this would have been like that moment where you putting all the pieces together. Like, oh my god, okay, so my kids was right. Dang, Stan was right. I need to get the hell up out of here. Instead, she does the exact opposite. Yes, I was so yes. with she goes through her purse and she sees a blicky, right? Yeah. And she sees all the stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah, now my mind. Oh, yeah. the money. Oh Lord. Yeah. yeah I that think was Joy crazy. was still feeling down about her kids not coming over, not still not talking to her. And I think she kind of was kind of intrigued about her story of being the scammer. 
<laughs> but she may have been there for you've been gone for nine, you've been at this girl house for nine days, ten days. I mean, you coming in talking about oh, this is so beautiful. This is your house, nice scenery, <laughs> and you can see the and that's what she this is, and that's what she said. Uh Troy gave her the money, that 40 grand. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I figured let me buy this. I thought it would be a nice spot. They're gonna tell her is a phone there if you want to use it. We get bad uh um cell phone reception cell phone and cut the damn wire as soon as it went to I said, Yeah, see. That's why you should have stayed your ass home, Joy. Yeah. Right. They she don't home. even know what's happening. She don't get the news. <laughs> right. You so she left nothing. her phone. Yeah. yeah. She don't know what's uh, going on. Inga, Inga, is uh ginger snaps coming? Oh no, nah. <laughs> nah. Nah, oh, uh, uh, well, y'all need ginger snaps? I mean, we need ginger, yes. Need oh. Go ahead. Go ahead and get ginger. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know what Ginger gonna add to this thing. These, I think I Ginger Snap what, is over these people, too. Right. Yeah, I mean, because I'm almost over myself. You know, for real, they didn't do it too they, much. You know, yeah, we need Ginger. So then, uh, how did he get in the car to go to take her home? I can't. I can't. I can't compute. because uh, she fi she finally came clean. Like, oh my god, my family's looking for me, or like, what was it? Was that the point when Savannah revealed, like, yeah, I'm um Harry's sister? No. You messed yeah. in my family. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah oh, she yeah, didn't yeah. even know until she found the bag and the blicky and, and the right. IDs and all yeah. of that. But even before that, she was literally hanging out with her gardening, going to damn karaoke, and she heard about mm -hmm. the hurricane and was like, Oh my yeah. god, I didn't even know it was the hurricane. I gotta check on my family. I gotta That's call my family. Mm -hmm. yeah, because regardless, she loved her family. Yeah, yeah. Joy was delusional, man. She was something. She was delusional. She really was. She, she was like, I'm gonna show them they gonna, miss me, as a they woman. gonna miss me and don't know what's going on. Right, mm -hmm. home nine, nine, ten days, man. Come right. On. And in the meantime, the kids got to go speak to Harry, and then they find out he got a damn restraining order. That's his sister. Yeah. And they right. like what the that hell? hell? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Plot to it. Right, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> oh, oh no. This lady was crazy. She had a gun, all these IDs, money. Yeah. She was crazy. She had a lot going on. Um, so Joy ended up they end up getting to the house. I can't remember the conversation in the car. I do know the blicky was the blicky pulled out or something. No. But no, 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 no. they didn't it pull it out, but no. What they like they were gonna wreck or something? Oh no! Yeah. yeah, that was in a car accident. Yeah, because okay, she okay, started okay, yeah. speeding, okay. acting crazy. crazy. She, she, was passed. <laughs> she passed the stop when she supposed yeah. to turn. I'm like, right. Joy was like, "Wait a minute!" And, and, and meanwhile, this fool doing the Lisa left eye just drove yeah. looked over and just drove straight into something. Like, what are you looking at? <laughs> did you say Lisa left eye? <laughs> like, girl, you seen this stuff? You didn't did this on purpose? Yeah, it was crazy. Um, so she gets home and she just walks up to them and it's like, no, I, I had to call BS on that because you got in this terrible car accident and, uh, she didn't have a scratch on her. The, right. She didn't have a scratch on the Savannah. Like, are you okay? Like, like she said, yeah, they didn't yeah. take her yeah. to the hospital out. for no type she of evaluation. She just went home. <laughs> right. I'm like, she was, and then, and then we still don't know where the Savannah went to. Yeah, Savannah on the loose. That's what really took me off. They like we looking Savannah for her. Savannah is on her next Later. victim. Later right. I wouldn't be surprised if Savannah go after uh her brother. Now, right. Or her, I mean, Lindsay go so after her brother. Mm. Right. right. Yeah, that's why I said I was pissed off at the end because I'm like I wanted to see. Be honest with you, y'all. I actually wanted the mother being dead. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't have made sense. We went through all yeah, and it turns out she over here drinking wine. Right. She chilling. She, yeah. she, she, she over here getting passed out ball. on a date. She was a good girlfriend. You know. She's flirting with the man next door. Mm -hmm, I mean, right. So, all of this, I'm like, well, I really wanted the mother dead. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I wanted to see her fight, Savannah. Or be too. tied up in the house, like make it exciting. Oh, I wanted to some excitement at the end. House. And, yeah, and, then and, the kids uh, was pissed at her. They like, wait, you didn't yeah. know that we was over here looking for you. We about to plan your funeral. Right. <laughs> exactly. We <laughs> had the cash in life insurance policy and all. Right. You know, oh, <laughs> but then you know, Mary Harriet, see, 
See what they should have had. They should have had Mary Harriet lead them to where Joy was because you know she. That's <laughs> yes, right. She was hot on the trail. Mary yeah. Harriet. Yeah. I, ain't going that Kendall, I agree with Kendall. I wanted to see Savannah and Joy fight. Yeah. Right, yeah. like we ain't up. getting nothing at all. She like everything is okay, everything's fine. I mean, the most little exciting part we got was when Joy started figuring it out. She, but who caught what? Man, first of all, y'all, if I'm in <laughs> y'all's house and I'm gonna spend the night, I ain't going through all y'all closets and digging through your shoes and digging through your hats. I'm not doing that. I'm going to people crazy. You don't yeah. do that when you stay in somebody's house. I don't care if you are looking for a bag for your clothes. Mm-hmm. Go get a trash yeah, bag. Yeah, because her bag right. ripped and I guess she figured, oh, this is a pantry. Yeah, I can get it out of here. But baby, when I would have found that, I'm sorry. I don't know if it was a back door or a window. I would have been out of there. I would have been <laughs> running right. in the clothes. I would have, yeah. But she couldn't get out of there fast enough because the girl had pulled up. Right. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh man, then y'all don't blame daddy and thought he did this. <laughs> I think it would have cost Savannah because this is just a crazy ending. Hi, right, how yeah, she yeah that's the only thing is that I, I want to at least see at the end where they caught well, her and she lit, locked up or something. Mm-hmm. But then it's like they everybody oh, just really? happy ever after one big happy family. Right. Like, yeah. You know, yeah, that was crazy. She was like, oh, oh was this the from the storm? Okay, everybody chop chop, get together, right. get the cleaning. Mm-hmm. Like y'all all stay, make yourself useful. <laughs> and look, Brooke done messed up her relationship with her fiance. Yeah. 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 Messed yeah. it up for it's nothing. Logan then, then, then no lost his good paying job. Fooling with this mm-hmm. lady when he ain't really had to be, you know, he ain't had mm-hmm. to be. He was just getting hot and bothered because your mama was missing and you thought she was right. Gone. You Brooke know, tried it though. Well, you know, when, that, when that girlfriend told him, Look, you got to cut the apron strings from your parents. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now you're 30 something years old, time if you grow up. And yeah. so she was trying to say, Look, I sacrificed for you. Now you got to do it for me. Right. Yeah, yeah. he got he got a wake up that. call at the end. I think yeah, he was he the one that made the go, right decision. Go off mm-hmm. to Seattle, yeah. So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. He want to do um, his thing he like he like being on boats. He's gonna be doing that up in Seattle. So. Right. right. I mean, oh, he lost his good job fooling with that lady. Oh, that, now now yeah, yeah, Logan is the one that's fool. Uh, yeah. I mean, Troy. not Logan. I meant Troy. Uh huh. Yeah. Troy. Troy. I'm sorry, Troy. Yeah, he messed up a good job. Yeah, he had a nice old house good, and everything. I mean, he yeah. messed up a good job, mm. right? He did messed up a good job. Sure he got plenty of money, and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. he's gonna be all right. He got the money, he got money. Look, he got money. He got what forty thousand dollars to throw away to Savannah. He'd be right. Yeah. Right. And the mom, the daddy had just ran off the things that he did when they was arguing. He was like, you know, you did the um the mortgage, not the mortgage. I think he paid for some trip. He yeah. does, he paid for the last mm-hmm. two years. Yeah, of, he was paying uh, for a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, he got you know, it. Yeah, he ran out all the things that he was doing. Like, that should have been the one you should have been trying to make amends with. If he got it like that, then <laughs> I just want to use your child for money. But good God. Right. You know, right. You make the boy feel welcome and, and, and happy that he's helping his family out. You made the boy right. feel like trash for helping y'all out. Mm-hmm. He was he low probably jealous because yeah, he didn't even yeah. have the success that Troy had, and it's like, yeah, you, yeah, you think Troy blew it for you, and he still made it for himself, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. outside of tennis, had nothing to do. With yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. This was this was very very good, uh, a very good series. A lot of twists and turns, all those then and now. And I'm like, I can't keep up with that. Um, but it was right. good though. It, it did keep it kept me interested. It kept me pulled in. Uh, this that last episode yeah, really we needed those backstories, right, like, so yeah. yeah. We wouldn't yeah. know what was going on. So, yeah, yeah that's how the last backstory. episode came. Okay, I want to smack everybody. I ain't gonna, okay, everybody, oh, didn't get yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody <laughs> lined up so you get the slap, yeah. Because I'm like, hold a minute, mama, you, mom, you did this, you left. Yeah, what? Savannah should have went and got revenge against her damn mama. Why are you blaming everybody else? You said your mama was the one. Thank you. Was right. doing crazy yeah. stuff to you. <laughs> yeah, Why are you crazy? Crazy. Yeah. Why? What's mm. going on? Like it was. Just she about to go get revenge on like, oh my brother told you who I am. Yeah. Oh, she's so gonna go have a season. Two? She finna go Tanya Harden his yes, so he yes. Gonna, his <laughs> career. Mm-hmm. About to go on him in the knees, take him out. So y'all think y'all do have a uh, season two? 
I don't think so because the set limit so. is series, but you never know. I mean, like I said, it was based off a book, and I think this okay. author has wrote other books, so maybe they'll, you know, bring some of her other ones. I'm not too sure. Nah. But yeah, I'd like to know the conversation. That's what mm -hmm. I want to know. I want to, I needed an episode, maybe episode eight. We should have had right. another episode. I want to see. So we can find Savannah. Right. Yeah. 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 Lindsay, Lindsay. Like, mm -hmm. what was your name? Somebody yeah, needed to arrest her. The way she was able to just run through the smoke of the accident and disappear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. She grabbed oh, yeah. her purse. She right, grabbed her purse. And, the, 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 and the that lady should have been scratched up. It wasn't even no blood, no scratches on her. That, that bag accident. She didn't have yeah. nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely could see that she pops up at another family house. It's like, Lord, Savannah, oh, back yeah. out here. You know something? We should have got these yeah. one more episode, right? So that we can, or or let finish more of episode seven at least, add some more yeah. to it because we're gonna see her at another person's house. She's probably done this multiple times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Court, really, you know? Like you yeah. have forty bands from the brother, child. Right. And then okay, but anyway. Did we ever find out whose house that she was living in? I don't think that wasn't her house. No, that wasn't her house. I don't no, believe no. that. I think she no, just went her in. house. She would have broken in that house because the neighbor Why? next door didn't even know her. Yeah. Right. And it was all uh, dilapidated and had all this uh, growth mm -hmm. around right. it. You know, all them trees and stuff going on. Girl. Yeah, it was, it was the middle of nowhere. And she cut the uh -huh. phone line, no internet connection. The neighbor next door didn't know her. I said, this ain't her home. She done broke with somebody else's house. And she was looking like she was ready to take that neighbor out. Like if he would have came one more time. Right. Yeah. She had to do what she had to do, I guess. She was busy. That that uh them detectives were zero. They were they were they were they were terrible. Yeah. And they couldn't find nothing on her. It was like she didn't exist. They was they should have hired, hired the family should have hired Scooby Doo and the gang. They would have <laughs> solved the case because these two detectives couldn't solve nothing. <sighs> they was just what was the point of Tyler coming on? We barely saw him at the end. It was, it was like, like, did y'all yeah. need to have one black person in to make a quota? Because that's right. all. Yeah, because yeah, all he yeah. really did was that's give Stan the rundown, and then he said they had the divers looking for the bag, and that's probably the only smart thing that the cop said she was like what suspect do you know that pays for their own divers mm -hmm. to go look for the bag you know that's right. true. Mm -hmm. yeah that's true yeah that was the only yeah. smart thing she said right yeah yeah, yeah. Then, yeah. yeah but that's right about the, the black guy they just had him on there for a couple of episodes you know not even a whole episode a scene. he had a couple, a scene. Of, a couple of lines scene. two sentences and then he was gone you ain't seen him <laughs> Like, why um, he didn't go to the police department with those things? Hey, Shanna. Hey, Shanna. Yeah, yeah hey. that was crazy. Hey. Yes. Yeah, that was crazy. That was I mean, crazy. yeah, that's that's wild. But, well, it, it was a good story either way. I mean, I like the baby. Mm -hmm. She was good. Yeah. And still, wild. nobody apologized to nobody. <laughs> Right. Well, the kids apologized to their dad, though. Well, well they yeah, they didn't find yeah. apologize to the dad. They said he was going to change, and then um, Troy right. said he was going to change, too. We, we, yeah. Well, we yeah. can't see, right? <laughs> we got to take right. their and word then, for it. The mother said, well, who believed that you did something? And, and, the, and the, the Right, like these kids. damn kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these yeah. right here, them the ones who did. Yeah, right. but she should feel like... Load in the bottom, dirt on the bottom of somebody's shoe because she you've been gone for nine, ten days, and like it's okay. Oh, okay, right, lady. And then, yeah, and then Stan yeah. told her about his father, why yeah. he is what he is. Oh, yeah, the father was abusive, yeah. yeah, and that made sense, even though he still ended up damaging them in another right. way, right. but he was trying not to be the way that his father was, so he thought walking away. You know, then he wouldn't yeah, be doing crazy. the same thing as what he grew up with with his dad. So that was yeah. interesting. Yeah, and they have time to make amends and and get there <laughs> the help they need because they gonna need it's it. It's good, Shana. It's I good. know she said those <laughs> characters. <laughs> she said that before that on one of her uh, 
lives or, I mean, or, or her platform. And I fell people. out there when I heard her say that before. Those yeah. Don't clear people. <laughs> yeah. Clear people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they yeah. was a hot mess, though. This, 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 this would not have happened in the black family. We would have no, cut no, no, this no, no, down. No, this happen the black family. Yeah, when that last yeah, the seven yeah. episodes, all, we would have got Savannah no, up out of here. Let the Savannah or exactly. Disney in the house. Right. right. No. We were never going through that threshold, honey. No. no. Okay. I would have said, oh, my goodness, your boyfriend beat you up? Stand here on the porch. I'm going to call the Right. Right. I'm going to call the porch. I can't do nothing else for you. I'll bring your bottle of water. You sit here on the step on the porch. Right. And then we call the cop and let them deal with with you. Right. Yeah. And I'm not going right. to give you 40 grand to keep your mouth closed. I'll tell on myself before I let you tell on me and I'm not giving you yeah, the money. Exactly. So, yeah, exactly. No, yeah. We're not yeah. doing it. <laughs> we're not paying yeah. the money. Yeah. No, it wasn't even made house, it that far. Cooking, she making French toast and pancakes and all this. <laughs> yeah. Like, like they, no. Doing a party. Like they did yeah. too much. Joy, Joy they did really did. Way too much. Like, mm-hmm. That's why I we'll said. We'll be on the defense too much. I just don't believe it. What happened I just don't believe that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, who be on the too much? What do you want? What you want? What you want? Exactly. Who, you? <laughs> who your people? What's your attention, honey? What right. Yeah. No. Yeah, you say, oh, I don't have nobody. You don't have nobody you can call? No, I don't have nobody. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to call we, social we call service call somebody. We call somebody. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. The woman's yeah. shelter. Or I, say a shelter. I was just about to say that shelter. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can go to the YMCA. Savannah. <laughs> yeah. Nice yeah. Place. <laughs> Everybody. Well, knows I'll you know. mission. We can lock, Yeah, we can drop you out. I'll, I'll even pay for an Uber for you to get there, but you're not coming to my house. You know. No. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. No, we're not doing it. No, this was clearly a clear people's story because I was yeah. in a whole lot <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. You can't cook because you might poison our food. People with money too, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So yeah, because you ain't gonna clean it up mm-hmm. right. No. Right? No. And you finna be around my husband? No. And you bring a strange. She cooking food. <laughs> I don't eat no everybody's food. You yeah, know, I, I definitely eat. don't eat everybody's food. food. No, no, to the no. And running around people's house with her t-shirt and her panties. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. No, 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 right there, you right. Right. The right there in front of my husband. And the booty cheeks halfway out. No man. Right. <laughs> no, no. Sleeping in my kids' bedroom and all that. No. Mm-mm. Going through their stuff, wearing the child clothes. No, no. Right. Amy right. was like, was that my Even dress? My brother was like, Yeah, Amy was like, Yeah, is that Amy's like, Mm-mm. She's trying to Mm-mm. replace me. Yeah, no, yeah. Get that no. mess from her mama. I think Joy is quite eccentric herself too. Absolutely. Like, yeah. 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 Thing, mm-hmm. yeah. She looked like a little ding bag. Yeah. Yeah. She looked like her, especially when her yeah, hair was all over. Her hair was sticking up very well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. She would be disheveled a lot. Yeah. She was definitely <laughs> disheveled. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right, ladies, but I do appreciate y'all for coming up here with me uh, to talk about this crazy, crazy story. Apples never fall it's on Peacock. <laughs> if you all have not seen it, please go check it out. Episodes yes. one through seven. It will put you in a chokehold because you're trying to figure out <laughs> who, who is the suspect. Mm-hmm. The whole in, in our world, everybody's a suspect. Right. Everybody. You know, everybody. Somebody did something. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm um, Michelle, I give everybody a shout out for coming through. We have Kendall, we have Shayna. Thank you for coming through. Uh, Torek and Sterling Science Sanaya's mom. That's my sister. I don't like I like I can't read her name. Thank you for coming through. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think it was Lemon Kush Pepper. I think I saw that person mm-hmm. earlier. There's Every so time I comments. see that name, I think it's Something else, you know? <laughs> so say let me cut. Right, <laughs> and, uh, uh, that's right. Yeah, Miss <laughs> Kara, Derry B. Um, anybody I missed because it's a whole lot of comments. Uh, Queen, uh, Lisa Boston from Facebook, three one three better made. So if I missed anybody, charge it to my head and not to my heart. I did try to uh, read the comments and make sure I popped up uh make sure everybody comments were popped up on the screen mm-hmm. um anybody well no okay so all right ladies what do y'all have coming up we're gonna go aries tamika inga and then monique 
All right now, y'all. So I'm going to come back in a few hours for the Sunday smoke session and I'm going to talk about BMF there. I was going to go live yesterday and do a little BMF rant, but it just was not happening. This weekend <laughs> was busy. So um, yeah, I'll be back in a few and I hope to see y'all pull up through. All right. We'll be there. Talking right. junk. As always. Right. <laughs> Miss Tamika, the den um i don't got too much going on i believe i'm joining ej for uh daria from detroit and then tomorrow i'll be joining the ladies for bmf it's mostly me joining the ladies <laughs> you know i'll do my own review on um bmf of course as well and then um thursday i believe is movie night with the ladies i think we're doing kimba i gotta double check with ej and make sure but I believe that's what it is. And then Sunday is Throwback Sunday where Foxy Brown, baby, is going down. <laughs> All yeah. right now. That's about it for now, y'all. Yeah, because yeah, your stuff is on hiatus right now, right? Uh, yes, I'm taking a little oh. self-care break. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, great lives, lady. Yes, it's a good name. I oh, we know it. Name. I figured that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know a lemon kush. Okay, <laughs> Miss Inga Binga. Uh, I don't know what I got going on. I'm just jumping the car with Tamika. <laughs> with and <laughs> That's the usual way. I'm in the back, I'm back in the back, back seat riding. Yeah, I was jumping the car. <laughs> you know, I just be all around. I might be yeah. in everybody's city and everybody's state. Oh, uh, that's right, yeah, right. I got, I got a couple of little shorts out there. Some. Some little crazy. Well, I, not me. No, Inga ain't doing no, nothing. Not Inga. But Ginger snaps. <laughs> she yeah. got some stuff going on, and she might just pop up at any given time. I don't know. Mm -hmm. she might just pop up at any given time. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, that was too funny, Inga. We in Georgia. Yeah. Uh, we in Georgia shorts. Yeah. I said, well, I gotta keep people laughing. Everybody well, be too Ginger's serious sometimes. Good. I gotta care everybody laughing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're supposed <laughs> to come up. And, you're supposed to come throw Savannah in the furnace tonight. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 She definitely needs to go. She definitely needs to go. Mm -hmm. Do you know something? I'm still pissed that we didn't see nobody get thrown in the furnace on raising Canaan. So I got to use the furnace. <laughs> yeah. I have to use it because nobody got. They yeah. showed us that furnace. And they didn't use it. And, and you uh, are using it, honey. So now I got okay. to be on it. So right. That's why I said everybody better behave, or they might be up in there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Right. right. So, <laughs> so, yeah. Well, you got some work to do with this episode. We're going to see who go, who you're going to throw in the furnace on this mm. one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Miss Monique 69 Ways Johnson. What you got coming up on your channel, darling? Okay. I so... from the other day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be incognito. Um, <laughs> um, I'm doing um Daria from Detroit, episodes one to three. I'm going to post up a mm. video for that. And I'm also going to do a quick thoughts on uh, Quiet on the Set. The dark side of kids mm -hmm. TV. Oh, I was just talking about that this morning. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna talk about that. Get some quick thoughts on that. Put out a video. Wait a minute. Is is your channel and your net? Is your is your full name? Or, I mean, only sixty nine for... ways Johnson. Yep. Okay, let me look for that because I don't think I'm subscribed. Yeah, let me make sure I subscribe to <laughs> Monique. Yeah, gotta go ways. Ways. to ways Johnson. <laughs> Now, I was in my yes, mobile out there. I try to support everybody if I can. Yes. Uh, I a, um, make okay, I am family. subscribed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're trying to get it pushed up because they have helped me tremendously, uh, Monique. So I promise you, they're going to have your back mm -hmm. ten toes down. Like, yes, uh, Monique Bishop always Bishop. be supporting yeah, everybody. Bishop, yeah, I try to oh, support yeah, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Bishop, what's his name? It's about, we're going to be 10 toes down. So they got you 10 toes down. They're going to help you. Make sure. You <laughs> okay, I'm <support>. subscribed. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, subscribe to Monique's channel. Um, And for me, I think at 9.15, we're going to uh, um with EJ, uh, BET Plus's uh, Daria from Detroit, of Detroit. Episodes mm -hmm. one through three is very, <laughs> it ain't what I thought it was going to be, but it's good. It's, good. it's I not. It was I was awful. pleasantly surprised. It's a good little yeah. kiki. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a drama at first, but, for yeah. some reason, but it's not. It's a comedy. It's a dramedy. Mm 
Mm-hmm. But it's it's good. It's good. Oh, that's um, interesting. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was a drama too. So yeah, it kind of gives me average Joe vibes, where you got a little yeah, action, yeah. you got drama, yeah. you got comedy. Yeah. Huh. yeah, yeah. And then the cinematography is the average Joe, kind of dark. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, yeah. But it's it's good. Um, yeah. So if you all have not checked it out, please do so. Catch us tonight at nine mm-hmm. fifteen, and then Monique is doing a video as well. So watch out yeah. for her. Make sure and you also, subscribe. Like, I What's guess up? on us coming up with uh, Nita the Diva, we go live on Wednesday for Shogun. If anybody, oh okay, yeah. Shogun is yeah. so good. That's my show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so it's a isn't it a remake of the uh, original? Yes, it was a oh. movie before. Okay. Yeah, okay. but they they do a good job. The graphics, the fight, they did a heck of crazy. Good job. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna check that out because I haven't. Uh, I haven't that seen that yet. yet either. Everybody, mm-hmm. everybody says good. everybody is talking about mm-hmm. it. So yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, oh, tap know. into it and see what they got going on over there. Uh, I, I I can't do video pre-record videos because I got a little uh, ADHD. That's okay. I, I, I just have to say I can't do pre-recorded videos. I have to do a live because I can't. I can't. Yes, I you can. There's no such thing as can't. You just gotta. Uh, I, I haven't done a live it. yet, but I'm going to um test the board. I got up while I'm recording the video and been watching pictures or something. Cut it out, kids. I'm serious. This while I had the videos up because I do them, then I'm like, I wait and I, ain't, I like pre recorded because I can edit and control how I want it to, to come mm-hmm. out. Yeah. yeah, everybody worked different though. Everybody worked different. In the beginning, I wasn't doing any lives. I was recording all of mine. I still kind of prefer that, even though people prefer lives. But now I've been mixing it up. Remember, Inga yeah. was like, "I keep missing your lives." I'm like, "Girl, I never went live. You ain't That's missing nothing." <laughs> she just premiered it, or okay. yeah, so yeah, mm-hmm. kind of do a little bit of both. But yeah, it's whatever so works for you. you. I'm still figuring it out. all out, so. <laughs> But I'm trying to get my numbers up because I want to do some. I want some chains, some coins from these people when they give because they, they're giving it out these days. You know, it, mm-hmm. it's, you know they're giving it out from what I see because people talk about nothing and get paid. So mm-hmm. <laughs> right, <laughs> true. Yeah, though. No. Yeah, mm-hmm. she prefers uh, pre-recorded, but live is easier to commit. Yeah, it is. It mm-hmm. is. I agree, Kira. It's Kira. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Lives are easier to commit to. Just get up there and start talking. Hey. And then the people in the comments, they're going to lead the way. With, you yeah, know, that's true. Yeah, I like mm-hmm. the interaction. Yeah, yeah I do I, like I, interacting I with the people. But sometimes <laughs> my internet don't be wanting to work with me. Right. That'd be <laughs> yeah. The yeah, that'd be the Your internet, your internet be like, girl, no. Mm-hmm. Not, not today. Not today. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. All right, ladies. I appreciate you all. And thank for everybody for coming through. I appreciate you all again. Um, I do not take it for granted for anybody that want to uh, hop on with me and jump on with me. Um, so I thank y'all for coming, ladies. Aries, to make hey, Kayla. Hey, hey Kayla. She always got to make her interest somewhere down the line. Right. <laughs> right. right. The whole time. Right. You heard of council. Right. Right. Don't Stream, it. y'all. <laughs> make her, too. She know it. She be on mm-hmm. it. She be yeah, like, I want to be on camera, to too. Talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Kendall. Yes, Kira. Thank you. Thank you, Inga. Thank you, Monique. 69 ways. And uh, this thank will not be the last me. time nice over me. here. We're going to, you know, make these collabs pop. We got to get these things done so we can make this money that they're giving out on this YouTube. Okay. And Inga, I, well, I it, do it, it for the fun. Anyway. I love being with y'all ladies. I ain't looking for the coin, but hey, if somebody wants to give me it. some money, I'll take it. But uh, okay. But I, um, but I ain't doing it for my. I enjoy being with everybody that I that I'm with. Moochie, EJ, everybody. Mm-hmm. It's just for the you know. It's for fun. It's for last. Uh, yeah. It's for the, the commentary. commentary. The com- yeah. Yeah. But once that money start coming, you definitely got to keep up with it. Because if not, if you take out one day, Lord, from what I hear, you Jesus. That's why Tamika be rolling them out. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Listen. Yeah, I be tired. I don't work on here doing no thing like that. So. Yes, yeah, it, boy. I'm like, right. That's why I be throwing them shorts, the 60 second shorts. I can do that real fast. And I don't care how I turn out. Like, whatever it is. 
Well, yeah, but all right, y'all. Have a good night and be safe. I will see you all on the next one. Bye. Peace out. Bye-bye.